And good evening. Good evening. Yes, good evening. <laughs> I am Resplendent Seraph on this lovely Sunday evening. Coming to you from a very, very steamy and hot South Florida. Even I'm like, oh my goodness, it's pretty warm out there. So I hope everybody's staying safe and uh, keeping, uh, staying safe from the heat uh, wherever you are. Although I think we're getting it worse, worse than most. But in any event, today is a uh, kind of a new one for me. Well, somewhat new for me in that I'll be playing a game for the first time on stream. Uh, the first time I played a game, having not played it before, was Deedlet in the Wonder Labyrinth. Which at some point I do have to finish that game. That is a that is a fun game, especially now that I've got the controller properly configured for Steam. That was what was throwing me off last time with that. But in this case, it's going to be with a series that I adore and have been a favorite of for uh, or fan of for quite a long time. And this one's going to be East Four Memories of Celsetta. Now they generally don't call it East Four; they just say like on the Steam page, East Memories of Silsetta, or if you get it for PlayStation, it's also just called East Mem um, Memories of Silsetta, but it is a remake of East 4. It's, from what I understand, the general story, which is an interesting one because East 4 Dawn of East was the TurboGrafx version. Then there was East Mask of the Sun, which I believe was for the Super Famicom, neither of which made it here to the States. And Falcom came up with a general script and two other companies, uh, Hudson Soft and I'm blanking on the other one, but they uh, took some creative liberties with the general overall script. So you ended up with two fairly distinct different versions uh, versions of East 4. So we're playing the Falcom remake, which they now consider the canon version of East 4, and they just called it Memories of Salsetta. And so we're going to give that a try here today. Uh, like I said, though, it's going to be the first time I've ever played this. So, yeah, uh, hopefully things go well. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I really don't know what to truly expect with this. Um, so we're just kind of going to give it a whirl here and see how it works out. And if it doesn't, we could always play Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth as a backup in the event that this either doesn't run correctly or uh, we, we just kind of run into some unforeseen technical issue with playing this. But again, um, you know, we're kind of, we're just going to push our boundaries here. And without any other further ado, let's get this, let's get this show started here. Let's fire up in game here. Let's see if it even grabs it, because that was an issue with East 7 when I was experimenting with that. It didn't even want to grab the game. So that was a problem. So yes, let's play... Wow, it's running the first run thing. Yep, hi, everything looks good. Button prompts, Xbox, that should be good. Uh, save and launch, everything looks fine there. Default, uh, frame rate, uh, you know what, we'll go frame rate 60, sure. Uh, yeah, we'll do with frame rate 60. OBS is only gonna capture up to 60 anyway. Come on, grab it, grab it, there we go, perfect. All right, so far so good. Good, and the, those levels look pretty good. All right. I don't know why it even gives me the option of load that we don't even, I guess it just defaults there. <laughs> yeah, we. I, I've never, this is the first time I've even run the game, let alone played it here. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get this fired up. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I've had a few people tell me in stream when I was playing Oath of Felgana that they really, really liked it. And so, that kind of gave me the inspiration of saying, you know what, all right, let's 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 give this a whirl. We are not playing this on Harder Nightmare, though. Uh, forget that noise. <laughs> it's just, even normal is going to be an adventure. It's that mouse cursor out of the way. Adol Kristen, an adventurer of great renown whose exploits are widely discussed and hotly debated to this day. His enterprises are recorded in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, which paint a vivid picture of the world and set the imaginations of those who read them ablaze. Indeed, a significant number of historians continue to believe that the Age of Discovery came about as a result of Adol's travelogues and the thirst for adventure, their contents spur. However, readers have often found themselves wondering at what point did Adol Kristen 
born in a poor village high in the mountains, began, uh, began referring to himself as adventurer. That's interesting. I never really... This is, this is news to me. I there, So in any of the games I've played so far, I never knew anything about Adol's kind of origin. So born in a poor village, huh? High in a mountain. Well, that makes sense. Historians and scholars have proposed countless theories to address this. Yet in truth, the answer is recorded clearly in one particular volume of Adol's travelogues. And that's also why each chapter of East is called, you know, book one, book two, what have you. They're Adol's books of his adventures. But yeah, if you didn't know that already, this game just explained it. The adventure I am about to recount took place two years after Adol left his homeland. Eighteen years of age, his curiosity at its peak, where would his thirst for the unknown guide him next? And what wonders awaited him there? That looks like... Well, I was about to say that looks... That vaguely resembles Darm Tower, but that's definitely not Darm Tower. It doesn't have uh, balconies all up and down it. Wow, how far did he go that there are two moons? <laughs> Let us look back on the events which occurred in the great forest of Salsetta and share an adult's passion for adventure and discovery. Oh, no big opening cinematic, huh? Just right to it. The frontier frontier city of Kaznan, huh? Okay. Kitty! Already the game starting off on <laughs> on a high note. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, there's that all. And so this remake was done with, I know the remake was done with the E7 engine. So the gameplay in this is going to be fairly advanced before we step back and do E5 and E6. I thought about playing the TurboGrafx version or the Super Nintendo version of E4, but again, like why mess with an emulator when I can just buy the Steam version and just go with that. Looking a little rough there, isn't he? A couple of miners are talking nearby. Hey, I heard the latest news? Seems they found another gold vein. Yeah, I heard the head miner went to check it out a while ago. There's always a fucking mine. <laughs> the way I hear it, there are veins all the way into the Great Forest. This gold rush business really never lets up, does it? Still, are they seriously planning to start messing around in the forest? Don't even joke about that. Going near that place isn't worth all the money in the world. You can't spend it if you're dead, after all. I believe it's been five years since Salsetta came under Roman control. And the city has never been more active. Huh. Happy accident. The Romans don't give a damn about us. Until they struck gold, they couldn't even be bothered servicing the roads around here. Well, I hear there's going to be a new governor general soon, for what it's worth. Who cares? Nothing's going to change. They just come over here, put all their effort into lining their own pockets, and as soon as the money runs dry, the, start, the cycle starts over. I suppose you're right. But wait, hang on. I guess that's our new governor general. Looks like a Romunden officer. And a pretty hot one at that. Oh, Japan, never change. Wish they'd at least end the war with Altago so I could do business in peace already. Couldn't agree more there. Feels like they're just dragging their feet at this point. And so, um, a lot of the East places are very inspired from, um, a lot of real world areas either in antiquity or the middle ages my take with altago is it's the uh the falcom universe version of carthage that that's sort of that's sort of my take i don't know that for sure but it's that's the sense that i get i know altago is some sort of um merchant civilization and their um and the actual city of altago is on the coast so I think there are a lot of parallels to be made to Carthage, whether that's intentional on their part or not. Watch it, you idiot. Look where you're going. If only this dude knew who he was fucking slapping. 
Adol was completely exhausted. He couldn't even muster the energy to stand up. That all you got, kids these days, I tell you. No backbone at all. Now at this point, this game takes place before Oath of Fulgana. So otherwise I'd be like, bitch, I killed a god. <laughs> but Oath of Fulgana chronologically takes place after this game. Who, Who am I? All right, so we got an amnesia plot here. Ah, now we're getting our opening cinematic. Which normally I skip these because they tend to be riddled with fucking spoilers, but... Fuck it, let's do it. In typical East fashion, we got a, ourselves a banging soundtrack. chain. <laughs> oh, it's going to be ridiculous. sure one of those characters I recognize from the opening of East 8. So I guess now we'll finally find, at least I will finally find out what her deal is. Goodness, life full is, uh, life is full of surprises. To think that someone would wind up collapsed in a heap in the middle of a bustling city like this. Thank you for helping me. Well, fortunately, I think I have a few spare rooms right now. I should be able to give you somewhere to rest at least. Take it easy for a while. That was a nasty spill, and I'd hate to see it happen again. Alright, so at least we can take advantage of the Is kindness of strangers. You, okay, it started to say at all. Is that you at all? There you are. I finally found you. Ah, okay, some of it's voiced and some of it's not. It's me, your old pal Durin. I thought I told you to let me know if you managed to make it back alive. Oh, this ought to be fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's that all? Oh boy, that's really not funny. It's you, at all, at all, Kristen. But never mind that. Did it. Can't believe you came back alive from the great forest of Salsetta of all places. They say when you set foot in there, you lose all sense of direction and never come out again. Supposedly lots of gold in those woods, but Espani and Rom both keep their distance, so there's no map to be found. Well, it looks like uh, whatever story he told there certainly applied to us. I tried to stop you, man, but once you stepped out that gate, I thought you were a goner for sure, like all the others. But here you are, proving me wrong. You're my favorite source of my, uh, I mean, my dearest friend. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like we would be good a good source of money. Where the fuck is right. Dogie? No, straight to business. No offense intended if I cut to the chase, but I am an information dealer after all. I want all the intel you've got about the forest, and don't you dare skimp on the details. Let's tell him the truth. Yep, we lost all our memories, bud. What? Come again? You gotta be kidding me. You don't even remember who I am? Or who you are, for that matter? Oh boy. What the hell happened to you in there? Actually, forget I asked. In fact, forget we ever had this conversation at all. My instincts are telling me you got yourself into some big trouble in that forest, and I want no part of it. Sorry, man, don't take it personally. I just know a bad deal when I hear one. You could at least 
tell me all the information you told me before. You know, the information I already paid you for. What's wrong? We got a problem. The mine. There are monsters in the mine. <laughs> Shocker. What? Some monsters just showed up in that newly dug tunnel? It does lead to some old ruin, no surprise. There'd be monsters, no, yeah, no surprise there'd be monsters in a place like that. Either way, times like these are what we have the Roman army for, right? Eh, uh, Leo? Where's Commander Leo? He's not here right now. It seems he's out doing some sort of military training exercise. Even worse, the soldiers that are still here are just panicking. They have no idea what to do. Seriously? Man, they really are useless. Finally get a chance to do something useful for once, they just freak out. Any miners who didn't get out in time? I don't know. It was ever made for himself in there, so nobody really paid much attention. So, yes. <laughs> can't blame him for that, I guess. Anyway, we just can't sit around. Let's get to the mine. Right. Now I'll have to figure out what's better, the D-pad no or the uh, stick here. It sounds like a whole lot of trouble down at the old mine. Adol, I'm going to go take a look. See ya. Well, I guess it makes sense that we don't know who's... Okay, yep, move using D-pad or stick, good. Press A when the talk bubble appears, examine. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. A lot of these are uh, Trails of series types of icons. So you could tell that's when Falcom made this game. <coughs> Pardon me, excuse me. Additional options, additional to the original configuration options. Further customizable, customizable. Customizable, custom, blah, 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 whatever, has been added specifically for this PC edition of East Memories of Silsada. Open the camp menu and select system, then options. Then check under additional options to see a few full list of new cities settings added to the PC version. Man, total tongue twisters here. Ah, and I just got an achievement. In search of lost memories, begin your adventure in Silsada. Nice. All right, so here's the camp menu. And I can't, I can't. Okay, so that's how I get over there. Is this the camp menu, though? I don't think so. I did just say... Maybe this is the camp menu. Oh, this is the camp menu. Okay. Let's find out. Options. Background. Let's boost the voice volume. Not that there are that many uh, voice lines, it seems, in this game, but whatever. We'll keep up with that. Background music is fine. Okay. Ah, additional options are up there. Resolution, full screen, frame rate. Yep, all that looks fine. Texture resolution. Okay, yeah, default. Yep, this looks fine. Ah, there's a... F okay, there's the flash guard in this game. Okay. All right, that should be fun. <coughs> Let's go with that. Everything should be fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's save. Save, save often. Perfect. And it even shows us, gives us a little preview of where we were. All right, level one, 12 minutes. Okay, so far so good. Skills, looks like we could set skills. Okay, that's, so this must be one of the earlier games they did that on. You could do that in eight and, uh, and nine. <clears throat> Actually, I think they really started it in seven. <clears throat> this looks like an evolution of the seven game system. Items, blah, blah, blah. Journal. Okay. Let's take a look here. I guess we'll, I'll experiment with it and I'll just see what's more comfortable. This looks a little more sophisticated than seven. So I think they took the game engine they made for seven and they just tidied it up. Now we got more. Click on the Kent menu item. Da, 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 da. Select system. It's like the save icon. Okay, yeah, we already figured that out, guys. Thanks. Yeah, this feels a little more comfortable. I think I'm going to use the stick here. All right, so we can go this way. Appears to be a back alley. No reason to be going this way right now. Well, okay, fine. Can't go in there yet. I could go back in here, I assume. Yeah, let's talk to you. Normally, the end would be getting quite lively around this time of day, but all the miners have been turning from work. I sure hope they're okay. Let's see, Peach, things like this have been known to happen. Just hope no one gets injured. Don't worry, I'll keep a spot reserved for you to rest. Although, it looks like I'm going to have to get ready to accept some injured people here as well. 
Sorry, can you wait till I finish setting things up? Yeah, no problem. Alright, so that one looks fine in here. We got a bartender. Monster in the mines, are you going to take a look as well? Make sure you don't relax your muscles then. Keep them all fired up like a pickard on a spit. <laughs> I am Mayun! What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> hey, Deep Fry, how you doing, my friend? We're, uh, we're playing East. Mem uh, Memories of Celsetta for the first time. I can't believe Evan actually wants to see a monster. He really is fearless. I'm scared just thinking of them. Monsters? What kind of monsters? I want to see them. I want to see some monsters, even if it's just a quick glance one time. No, you don't, Evan. All right, so we can't go in there. I guess we're just going to have to go this way. Uh, here's an interesting question. While I'm messing around with this. Equip. I have... All right, so at least I have leather plate, but I have no weapon. That's super awesome. That's great. Typical. So one of the running gags of this series is no matter how well you equipped you were in the previous book, Adol always manages to lose his really awesome S-tier equipment from the previous game. And it looks like whenever I lost my memories in the Forest of Salsetta, I also lost all the really cool shit at the end of East Book 2. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking the stick is a little more comfortable. Commotion seems to be coming from the opposite direction. Okay. Sure, just make me go in this direction. Oh, and I see we've got a map uh, exploration deal. Much like uh, 8 and all the other games. So this is right in keeping with that. How's your weekend going, Deep Fry? We could go there, but I think the game's going to stop me. Yep, <laughs> not the way to the mine. All right, all right. <laughs> we have a camera? No, we have no camera. Oh, the mine is literally going to be right here. That's not Leo over there, is it? Actually, it's a woman, so I suppose not. I don't remember anyone like that in the Celsetan army. All right, well, let's see. Ah, it's the lady we saw earlier. What is taking so long? Hurry it up. Get the injured out of there. All right, well, at least she took charge. Yes, ma'am. The safety of the miners is our highest priority. Make certain all of them are accounted for. Understood. Who's that now? That's Governor General uh, Griselda. She just got here recently. Seems Commander Leo's away on business today, so she was assigned here in his place. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I came all this way to the mine so I could see the Romans screw up, not do their jobs. Guess <laughs> you can't win them all, Doris. Are you the last? No. That miner and a few others got trapped in the room the monsters came out of. Please help them. Counting the head miner, how many are left? Three, I think. Understood. You may rest now. We will see to it that the others are rescued. And little does she know, that means I'm going to be res the one rescuing them. You two! There are miners trapped inside who need our help. Make the necessary preparations and head in immediately. Here, but we haven't received any orders from the commander yet. This is an emergency, and I'm in charge. Prioritize the safe rescue of the miners above all else. There's no need to eliminate the monsters inside. Hey, Sancho, who's higher rank? The commander or the governor general? <coughs> the governor general, of course, idiot. <laughs> There's no time to waste. Move it! Yes, ma'am. Well, that's an interesting... Well, this is an interesting effect. The Governor General sir seems a whole lot more dependable than Commander Leo. Jamie can't say the same about those soldiers, but let's wait and see, I guess. Maybe she can whip them into shape. Alright, what the fuck is going on here? A strange orb of light suddenly began shining nearby. Yet no one else seemed able to see it but at all. Oh, lovely. That's that's just great. Okay, as you progress, you'll find certain locations and objects upon which target circles appear. Switch to the appropriate character. Oh, okay, we're going to have multiple characters in this game. Okay. Touch the circle or press Y to activate that character's unique action. An event will occur. If the circle's red, use a different character. Seems simple enough. Touching the light, Adol can regain lost memories by touching orbs of light. Okay. We can talk to this dude, but let's go up here. Okay. What up if I actually hit the right button, wouldn't it? Well, this certainly is interesting. 
He began to feel a light headache and hear voices echoing inside his head. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. I honor the skill and courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with a sword is really something. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. Oh, and our maximum HP increased by two. I'm uh, increased by 10. I'm trying to figure out if that is stuff that's gone on in this game or if that's stuff I should have recognized. Is I a swordsman? <laughs> What's a paladin? <laughs> Although at least in this case, Adol gets a pass considering, you know, amnesia and all that. Adol felt an uncontrollable urge to get involved. It was simply too much to bear. He had to try to help resolve the situation. All right, open the camp menu and select the memories action. Oh, and we can, and we can, memories you have regained can be rewatched as many times as, oh, okay, good. Good, we will, pro I will probably do that. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's talk to you. There's no time to waste. Arrange for additional personnel here at once. I said there are still three miners trapped inside. Everyone else is safe and sound. Few got injured. Fortunately, no one's dead yet. Now we just need the head miner and the others to come out alive. I really hope they're okay. Let's see. Room of the huge monster. Great. So there's a boss in there already. Could just run away like that. Need to focus on resting, not blaming yourself. Need a drink. All right, let's talk to this dude. Oh, I guess that's the new governor general everyone's been talking about. Seems like quite the go-getter from the looks of it. Great. Am I going to just have to go in here and rescue them? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go in here without a sword and rescue these fucking people. Find an opening! Oh, okay. That's... Gotcha. Okay. So this is the... Okay. I can do the, the mouse in depth. That's probably... Is probably the default. This, should, this looks fine. Yeah, this looks fine. Although I could zoom in on that a little bit. Oh, and we're taking an ad break. That's alright. I'm just going to explore a little bit. Is there boulders blocking the way? Seems the commotion caused a cave in. Okay. Well, seems simple enough. But good, I don't have to worry about camera angles or anything else like that. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, this dude. Okay. I step away for you just a few minutes and find you wandering in here alone? You don't find any chance of a sword, do you, Dorian? Where do you think you're going? Heard a strange voice. Sure you weren't just hearing things? You obviously suffered a blow to the head if you wound up with amnesia. Adol explained to Durin what happened at the mine entrance. I think I get it now. You're one of those people, aren't you? <laughs> now that ain't more of this whole wide world than you naive, meddlesome little do-gooders. You just have to try and solve everyone else's problems and drag others down with you while you're doing it. Well, I know better than try and talk your kind out of these crazy stunts. You must go at least take this. Yes. Oh my god, I was joking about the sword, but he actually does have one. That's awesome. I don't want your corpse on my conscience. I can't believe you're seriously thinking of wandering in here barehanded. Come to think of it, if you've lost all your memories, does that mean you've forgotten how to fight too? I think I can manage. <laughs> Fine. I'll come part of the way with you. Only part of the way, though. You got it? <laughs> and now who's being naive? I'll just say thanks. Sure, come on. Let's get going. All right, so Durin joined the party. So this is definitely a staple of the later East games, not not very early on, but uh, this works. Open the camp menu, select equip, select... Did, 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 okay, yeah, we can figure this out. Uh, we actually were, were in there before. Yeah, let's equip. Hell yeah, we're equipping that short sword. I don't have any... Yeah, I got nothing there. So let's see. Durin. Alright, so I've got an extra skill, Soul Breaker. Pulverizing strike, whatever that means. Oh, okay, I can switch the party member or something. Whatever. Okay. Gotcha, okay, so if I wanted to, I could theoretically switch to him. 
All right, that's pretty neat. Okay, we got a little bit of a jump action there. Leave it to me. Leave it okay. to me. Or I switched using that button. Hmm. These are probably save points. This is a pretty odd looking monument. Or, you know what? Fast travel point. That's probably what it is. Like an Oath of Felgana. What did you just do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you wouldn't. Looks like it's been buried here for a long time. Oh, well, let's just focus on getting out of here. No time to be worrying about old statues. But, yep, monuments retrying. Okay. Check out the stone monument. Restores all HP and cures status effects. Okay, good to know there are status effects in this game. Retrying. Upon game over, you can retry from the last monument you touched or the last town or camp you visited. Good to know. My turn. Leave it to me. So that's what does that. All right, so this is going to be yep, and then this will be dodge, right? No. Is it only flash guard? Okay, that's going to be flash guard. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Let's like, figure this out. <clears throat> Each game plays very, very differently than the previous ones. Yeah, these are monsters, all right. Well, I shouldn't say drastically different, but... The differences are fairly distinct. What are they doing this close to the entrance? How does it feel to hold a sword again, Adol? It's pretty natural. Oh, that's good to hear. Alright, try taking these monsters on by yourself to start with. They seem pretty weak, so they should make for a nice warm-up. Yep, I'll figure this out. Action, guard. Yep, right trigger to guard. Switch, B to evade. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's... Alright, so they want you to do B to evade instead of left trigger to evade. That's a little un, uh, unintuitive. All right, and so the bumpers are to switch characters. That's guard. All right, well, and two, three, two, three, okay, let's see how this goes. Looks like your body remembers how to use a sword, even if your brain doesn't. <laughs> Awesome, you learned a skill in that fight, too. Make sure you equip it before you move on, though. You can only use skills when you've got them equipped. All right, so we'll do that. Yeah, party members may learn skills when fighting tough foes. Once the skill is learned, it can be set to a button. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's do that. Ugh. Hold your attack until your character flashes, then the next strike can be charged. Oh, okay, that's what that flashing was. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, and charged attacks gain SP. Okay. And then hold left. Tr oh, okay, and that'll be for that. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to skills. Let's start with rising edge on that. All right. So if I do. Yep, okay. That's pretty straightforward. Let's go over here and let's detect. Oh, no, it's. It is detected. Okay, it's just different elevation. Lovely. Great, so Seraph is going to have to figure out. Hey, Nade, what's going on, buddy? This is my first time playing East 4 here. So, uh, this ought to be fun. <laughs> uh, can't interact with that. <clears throat> see what's else is going on here. Okay. It's registering. Do you have any more... So, all right, so we picked up some coal and iron from that. These monsters aren't going to be easy to deal with as the last lot. Oh, yeah. My strike attacks aren't too effective against soft-bodied creatures like these. Don't worry, mine will be. But your sword slash attacks should do the job nicely. Yes, they will. Creepbot just ran a savage run, got cheesed his try. Aw, that sucks when he gets cheesed. I love savage. That is such a great finisher for his uh, retro Sunday. Ah, the tough-looking ones over there might repel your sword. But my fists and kicks can smash them up good. All right. So we'll have to rely on Durin for that shit. In other words, we both got enemies we're strong against and enemies we're weak against. You focus on monsters weak to slash, I'll focus on ones to weak to strikes. All right. Yeah, that works. Let's find out how good the AI is. Character's attack type determines how much damage is dealt. All right, so ineffective, effective. Okay. That's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. 
Clicking an enemy or pressing allows you to view its name, level. Oh, okay, that's also good to know. We'll see if I remember that. Hey, buddy, you said you were good against those. Uh, go fight them, please. Yo, Durin. Hey, bastard, fight these. Why are you not fighting these, Durin? <laughs> Starting to get the hang of fighting again? Oh, and just in case you need it, I'll give you one of these. I guess what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to switch to him and take control of him. Yeah, probably. I, w I was doing that earlier, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do that. I was hoping the AI would do it, but clearly the AI is, um... You're so thoughtful. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Don't say that kind of thing with a straight face. It's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, that's a healing item. Always good to keep a few on hand. If you're held slow and you think you're in trouble, use one while you still can and forever hold your peace. But even when we were weak to it, we still were able to kill them, so it worked out. Uh, select items on the camp menu. Okay, good. So that's how we'll heal when we need to. Alright, we're still at max HP here. Alright. But yeah, I'll be back. Uh, enjoy. Feel free to get some tacos. We'll be here. <clears throat> Alright, so here's some of these assholes. <laughs> Yep, just like E7, if there's a corpse, you can kill it and bash it for more items. So I've played a little bit of E7. One of these days, I gotta actually... Oh, shit. Hey, Fonza, you okay? <laughs> Sancho! I think my leg's broken! <laughs> Stop whining, or the commander's gonna yell at us when he gets back. Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Oh, shit. Alright, yeah, we're here to help. Hopefully I have enough XP to deal with the boss. And someone's coming to help us. Help! <sighs> Guess we can't just leave him. Out of all the monsters we've fought so far, these look like the toughest. Just think of this as a chance to review everything you've learned. Give them all you've got. Oh, we've got an extra gauge. Okay. More SP costs, the more the gauge will show go up. When it's at max, unleash a powerful skill with Y. Okay, so that one. Got it. I'm just getting warmed up. Like that? Okay, cool. We just gained levels. Sweet. I thought it was gonna die. <laughs> come on now. Oh, come on now. You're just exaggerating. By the way, who are you two? Oh, uh, just a passing information dealer and his amnesiac do gooder companion. You two might not be any kind of match for what's in here. You do all that back. <laughs> uh, Joe, let's do that. I don't think I could go on. My leg still hurts. And so these are the two that the Governor General, I, th I think these are the two that Governor General just ordered in here. Didn't take them long to get into trouble. Good grief. Oh, boy. Suppose we may as well leave for now. It's not going to be any use like this. Take care of yourselves, you two. Goodbye. You guys are welcome. Just remember when I need a favor later. Not that I'm going to need a favor later, but if this is an easy game, I'm going to need a favor later. So said an army is technically part of Rome's armed forces, but it's made up more of locals than trained Romans. As you can see, morale isn't exactly high. That means that's our time to shine. Let's keep moving. All right. So, let's see what we got here. We just showed up. Let's go yeah, get some coal and iron. Mostly, I am yeah, mostly coal. Some iron. How are we doing here? At all level two. Is there a status anywhere? I guess there's no status. Would have preferred. I guess that's the closest I'm going to get to a status. I'd like to know... Oh, it says it right there. 39 of 105. Alright, I mean, this is this is manageable. Oh, and Durin's also level 2. Great. I have amnesia. Oh, shit. Am I gonna die in there? Uh, maybe. Yep. Okay, a certain amount of air. We'll be getting to certain parts of it. 
cute. That was real cute. Okay, I can attack in here. That's good to know. Well, while we're at it, let's explore down here. See if there's anything. Killed the other one already. Sweet. Did take some damage, though. Let's see. We're in a dungeon. I'm probably not going to heal in here. Nope, I am not going to heal in here. Let's find out what else is in here, though. Ah, okay, good. There's nothing else there. Let's wander over here. Just make sure there's nothing to be had. I don't think there is. Nope, if there was, we'd probably see it on the map. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Cool, and I could go into that first thing. All right, fine. My turn. One. Oh, pain in the ass. Ow. All right. Okay. One thing we are gonna do though. Go to skills. Ah, Shellcracker. Okay. He already has a skill equipped. He doesn't have any other skills. Okay. Well, that works. Uh... AI. Yeah, AI. Ah! Okay. Maybe that was my problem. Like, I do remember an AI setting, so yeah, I probably switched it. Alright, now let's see what he does. Actually, let's... Let's save. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Marvelous. Okay. So far, so good. Maybe that'll fix during. Damn, looks like it's locked. Let's see. And now, if I had a certain wall-crushing friend of mine, he'd be able to just lift the damn thing. He's right. The gate is definitely locked up tight. Nope. Not budging. Don't think there's any other way to go deeper into the mine, though. Let's look for a key. Yeah, sounds like a plan. There's got to be a key around here, certainly. How do I get my health back? I guess when we hit certain places, we just get health back. Test is locked up tight. Nice. Okay. So, this too? I'm guessing whatever key I need will open this and that. Still, this is much simpler lock than the other one. No problem. Leave it to me. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Duran could pick... Oh, God. Don't tell me this is going to be a fucking minigame. Duran could pick open lock chests, allowing you to obtain the items inside. Okay. Leave it to me. There we go. Pick lock. <laughs> he literally just kicks it. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Obtained mine key. All right. Wow. Looks like that did the trick. Right then, let's go get that gate off and see what's waiting for us behind it. <laughs> oh man, that's funny as shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, gate's locked up tight. Yep, use the mine key. Let's do it. Nothing in there. Honey potion. We'll take the honey potion. What else we got? Of course. More swimming. This doesn't seem too bad. What's going on here? Yep. Ah, uh, now Duran's attacking them. Yeah, I that's what I needed to do. I needed to set the AI more aggressively. Whoops, nope, nope. Duran, attack that one, please. Uh, well, now he. Okay, so all I have to do is do that and he'll just join in the fun. Okay, so I don't have to switch characters now. I can, but I don't have to. Really would prefer not to. Okay, good, we're level three, that's nice. Okay. Let's heal up here. Monuments emitting a faint glow. 
So let's see. Um, ah, okay. This is a map. That, high low. Okay. Maybe they're not fast travel points. Okay, that's gonna be that. This is this. Hey, Freak Bot, greetings! How are you? We're playing East 4 here. Let's take a quick break while we uh, handle some shout outs and whatnot. <laughs> so I finally decided to, uh, to play that, even though I've never played it before. Yeah, I was going to play E6, um, and then um, I just decided I was going to, because I was looking at my page after finishing Earthbound, and I'm like, East Book 1 and 2, complete. East 3, Oath of Fulgana, complete. And I'm like, all right, I could hop around, or I could play this for the first time and give it a whirl. And so far, so good. Um, it's interesting to go into a game blind on stream, but it is nice also. I've, I've fixed my issues with the controller. On Steam, so now all the buttons have the correct configuration. I was experimenting with Deedlit in the uh, Wonder Labyrinth, and I was having a much easier time uh, with that. So that'll be that'll be fun too. Uh, I was like, all right, so if this doesn't work, we'll play Deedlit in the Wonderland instead, <laughs> or in the Wonder Labyrinth instead. And uh, hey, Rob, greetings. Let's give Rob a shout out too. Awesome, awesome streamer. Also, he's playing a, a very interesting crossover which is uh, pretty zany. So far, it's not as crazy as Namco and Capcom, but the crazy has only just begun. I suspect that game has more more bonkers in store. <laughs> yeah, Project X-Zone, that, uh, that was the other one. And so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the story right now. So we just started the game. We're literally just like, I don't know, 40 minutes in. And the only things we know is that are that Adel has amnesia. Uh, we were giving a lot of money to an information broker. He's decided to join us while we clear out a mine because, of course, we're clearing out a mine. It's an East game. The first mission is the first level is always a mine. Uh, but there was a very predictable mine collapse, and miners are in trouble. And the uh, local uh, governor general basically sent a couple of her soldiers in, and they were they were predictably useless. But at least the governor general seemed to prioritize. The uh, safety of the miners on like Count Ma uh, King Maguire or Count Maguire last time, and so we're mostly just trying to figure out why Adol doesn't have any memories whatsoever. Uh, so how did Savage go? Savage! I cannot do that voice right now. I've had too much soda. <laughs> the true question is, how are you going to play East Five? So I already have that. I have a uh, ROM of the Super Nintendo, a fan translated uh, version of the original Super Nintendo ROM. Someone, I guess, hacked it and um, and sub uh, and replaced the Japanese with English. Uh, so it's a fan dub. So with fan dubs, you never really know, but it should work, and we should be able to play East Five once we play and beat this. And uh, we should just kind of be good to go. <laughs> so I am, uh, I am quite prepared for that question. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so I could use this. We don't have any artifacts. All right, so we've got potions. We don't need to use potions. All right, so we've... Uh, I don't know how to make these work yet. I assume these are fast travel points, but I don't see how they work. Maybe they're not fast travel points. Maybe there is no fast travel in this game. Huh, this place feels a lot different than the rest of the mine. It's like some kind of old ruin. Oh, fuck. Let me guess. Yep, that's a boss. Oh, that's a fucking boss. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. Hold on. When the monster first spawned, I thought... They may have rendered something. It, it's not important. Uh, Seraph was wrong. <laughs> is this the monster? That's, is this the monster that started all the trouble? Watch out, Adol. If you don't want to die, you better hurry up and remember how to fight. Yeah, no worries there. So we've got a gigantic rock monster. All right. Obtain SP. Use skills. Unleash. All right. Let's let's find out. Well, so far that's a pretty banging. Uh... Wrong 
button. Let's try this one. Since we already saved up all that boost gauge. Okay, so the arms take no damage. Oops, that, that hurt. Okay, I should not let that hit. By that, that sucked last time. Uh, okay, so yeah, I gotta build some muscle memory. Oh, you do get a flash move. I just have to hit it with that button instead. Good to know. All right, so far not terrible. Ouch there. Nope, didn't mean to hit that. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Did I lock onto it? I didn't mean to lock onto it. I don't know how I meant to have done that. I probably hit the stick. Faster. Best there. Uh, we got this guy. Ow. Boom. All right. That wasn't so bad. Not too shabby. First try. He had a lot of health, though. Holy smokes. Phew. That was close. Oh, man. I got to say, you're pretty strong. You might have lost your memories, but I'm starting to see how you were able to make it out of that forest alive. <laughs> no one's more surprised than I am. <laughs> Can you imagine playing this game as your introduction to the series? Actually, the amnesia aspect probably would make for a good introduction to the series. Shit, I never realized that. Yeah, oh, well. Publis doesn't even begin to describe you. You two. Uh-oh. Ah, miners. Okay. I couldn't believe my eyes. You guys actually managed to take down that huge monster. I'm Wagner, the head miner. I'm so glad you're okay. I can't thank you enough. You literally saved all our lives from certain doom. As long as that monster was there, we had nowhere to go. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> it's a good thing you guys didn't go anywhere near it. At least none of you are too worse for wear. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Absolutely. I'm eternally grateful no one was hurt. Although there is something worth no <laughs> noting that occurred just in the next area. See, there's this strange statue there. Oh, God. Please tell me it's not going to be more statues. It started to glow, and that seemed to calm the monsters a bit. Interesting. It might have uh, just been my imagination, but I could swear it actually happened. <laughs> what kind of statue? Uh, it had wings on its back. Very distinct. You look like you want to see it even more, Adol. Hell yeah. If you're that interested, you should go look for yourself. We, on their hand, should be leaving. Yes, you should. I'm thinking everyone's quite worried about us now. Sure thing, take care of yourselves. Well, this was much better than uh, Oath of Fulgana. The first boss in Oath of Fulgana really sets the stage of you're in for a bad time. Because <laughs> you have, I mean, you got first, the first boss is uh, Sister Nell, uh, who just, I forget the name she goes by now, but uh, she just opens up a can of whoop ass, does it really go easy on you. And then you've got the crazy white dragon that protects the statue deeper in. Uh, oh, just wait. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the bosses will get worse in this game, but at least, at least the first one doesn't immediately punch you in the face. <laughs> well, we're here anyway, so we might as well take a quick look around. I'm sure they're lulling you into a false sense of security. <laughs> oh, that's that looks that actually looks like a goddess statue. What's that? Although it's a little different than the goddess statues I'm used to. Hmm. Is that the statue Wagner was talking about? Adol was suddenly stricken with a violent, intense headache. Oh, we're getting more memories back. Okay. Adol? Truly sorry this way. 
Be sorry, I must end it this way. Certain you will return this false sanctuary. I have. Hmm. Hey, Adol, you okay? All right, well, I need more of these statues. Was it that voice you heard outside again? You don't look so good. I think it's about time we head out of here ourselves. Oh, are you going to give me a new skill? Suddenly a light appeared, concealing a small winged object within it. Ah, okay, now we have the silver wing and we could use that to warp around. And we'll use Hold the on. monuments as fast travel sites. That sure wasn't here before. Where the hell did it come from? She looks old. Wonder what it was used for. Do you think this ruin has anything to do with the voice you heard? I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Sorry. I know that when miners dig up ruins, monsters sometimes show up or other strange things start to happen. Oh, you have no idea what strange shit happens around me. Seems like this is just another unsolved mining mystery for the history books. Well, I'm ready to go anytime. When you're done down here, let's head back to the surface. Now let's kill more monsters on the way out. Ah, okay, the silver wing is shining brightly. It appears to be reacting to something. Ah, oh boy, what now? Is it resonating with that stone monument? Ah, uh, okay, now the fast travel will be activated. Yep, the silver wing can now be used to warp between stone monuments. Let's move that mouse cursor over there. Silver wing allows you to warp. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing as both of Filgana. Yep, cool. That's awesome. Okay, so we go to the monument itself. So there's the mine depth, so we can warp to that one. Nah, we're this close. Fuck it. Let's just... Okay, fine. Let's do it. It's gonna make me do it. What, what just happened? We missed out on XP, Duran, is what happened. Missed the entrance to the mine, isn't it? How'd we get here? That monument warp us here? So many weird things have happened today. It's making my head hurt. Come on, let's just get back to town already. All right, fine. I'll get, I'll get XP later. We got an ad running, but we're just walking. If the ad's still running when we talk to somebody, we'll, uh, we'll just wait. Is there anything new over here? I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, I can't get past that yet. I'm sure that'll be an area that opens up later. I've got to change my uh, announcement text for that. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Here they come, here they come. Good job, we heard about you from the Med Miner, kid. Thanks for helping my friends, big guy. <laughs> Excellent work, gentlemen. So you are the red-haired youth noted in the report. What report? <laughs> my name is Griselda. I am the Governor General of Celsetta. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Adol. Adol, you say. A fine name. Fitting for one as brave yet approachable as yourself. Alright, so we're already on good terms with the Governor General. That's good. I much prefer to be on good terms with the leadership of an area rather than having to, you know, avoid them. Like in some areas. In some games. <laughs> I, too, would like to extend my deepest thanks for saving not only the miners, but some of our army soldiers as well. There's more I wish to discuss with the two of you. But I prefer not to make this commotion any greater. Would you mind accompanying me to my office? Still, this is quite the coincidence. I recently heard of a mysterious island called Hysteria in the east. Long cloaked in violent, impenetrable winds. <laughs> yeah, uh, <I'm laughs> not that Adol knows, but yeah, uh, we've, we've been there. I also heard that it was freed from its storm wall by a young, red-haired man such like yourself. Now that you mention it, I heard something similar from a traveler in the bar myself a while back, but there's no way, right? <laughs> Regardless, I would like to extend my deepest thanks to you for all you've done here at all, and there is one other issue I'd like to discuss with you. Are you familiar with the Great Forest of Celsetta to the northwest of here? Um, maybe, maybe not? Well, which one is it? 
at all. Just so you've never heard of it, this is going to get real confusing real fast. <laughs> it's said that those who set foot in the Great Forest immediately lose their bearings. Ferocious beasts prowl its expanses, and few have ever returned alive. <laughs> oh, pixel babes, right? <laughs> Ghosty, how are you doing, my friend? However, we've recently received orders from Rom instructing us to find new gold deposits. We must make haste. I therefore have a formal request for you, Adol Kristen. Would you consider undertaking the task of mapping the Great Forest on our behalf? Mapping it? Again, it is an uncharted wilderness. Few set foot within and fewer return. Therefore, no map presently exists. You would begin a thorough expedition into the forest starting tomorrow, carefully mapping every mile. I cannot deny that it'll be a dangerous task indeed, but you will be rewarded most generously for your efforts. Tomorrow we'll be form we will be formally announcing the quest and presenting the first able to compete it with a complete it with a large sum of gold. What kind of money are we talking about here? They'll be rewarded in installments. Yeah, you know, like every other game, when you get certain percentages, we'll uh, we'll get there. So mission with no guarantee of coming home. Sign me up. That's right, Dark Star. <laughs> Better than the milk and cigarettes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Numerous explorers and prospectors have already heard rumors of this and begun gathering here in Kaznan. If you're interested, I would like to hear your answer as soon as possible, before sundown tomorrow, preferably. However, the hour is late, so please, rest for the night. There's a room at the inn. I'm hopeful you'll think it over. Oh, and we just got another... Uh, wow, we get achievements pretty easy in this game. Wow, I'm not I'm not liking the HDR effect. Let's let's tone that down. Uh, additional options. Yeah, let's do that HDR off. That's that's a little that was a little ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that looks much better. Oh, actually, let's talk to her one more time because sometimes NPCs give you more text. If you're interested, I would like to hear your answer as soon as possible. Oh, okay. You're just telling me the same shit. Okay, fine. Or literally just tell me the same fucking thing you just did. You're a lucky guy to be able to talk to the Governor General personally. Sure, it would be nice to get called inside instead of just standing guard out here all day. <laughs> oh, these guys are awesome. I like them already. Mustached. Mustachioed man. Oh, you're the swordsman who took down the monster in the mine, aren't you? Damn straight. <laughs> I thought so. Well, we know from this music this guy is going to be trouble. How did I know, you ask? Because I'm a genius, of course. Oh my god. All I need to do is say inconceivable already. I am the great Leo, commander of the self setin army and the finest swordsman around. Don't you start getting cocky just because you took down a little monster while I was away. You know what? I take that back. This guy is going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, right? If I'd been here, I would have defeated it in a tenth of the time. With such skill and grace, you would have been left speechless. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we've got a uh, certified douche canoe here, and he would have done it with one hand tied behind his back. That's right, walking uphill both ways. <laughs> oh my goodness. That Commander Leo is probably the most infamous man in Kaznan. I'm sure you could see why. Oh yep. Boy. Amazing how quickly you got involved with some of the strangest, most influential folks around. Exhausted, Adol and Durin made their way towards the bar. But seriously, where the fuck is Dogie? <laughs> I hope I didn't lose him in the forest of uh, Salsetta. <laughs> Time to get drunk. <laughs> roll, roll a die to see if I'm getting drunk. Ah, oh, okay. What if there ain't girls there? I want to do that. <laughs> That's a sound effect I need to splice a Splice up a skip from that whole thing. Oh my god, that was great. I think this has been the longest day of my life. <laughs> oh my god, poor Durin. So what are you going to do about the Governor General's request? I'm going to accept it. Really? That's surprising. At all. I have a crazy idea. How about the two of us accept her offer together? 
Okay, well, that's cool. I wasn't sure if he was going to be a temporary partner or uh, or a long-term party member, but I guess he's in for the long haul here. You just want the reward money. Yeah, his partners. He said it was a crazy idea. It does kind of feel like I've been dragged all over the place by you today. But I can't deny it's all been pretty exciting. And he certainly can handle himself in a fight. I want the money. You get to keep... Get, uh, I want the money. You want to get your memories back. And to get your memories back, you're going to need to go back into the Great Forest anyway, right? We make the map, sell it to the Romans, and I get some juicy info while we're at it. Everybody's happy. It's win-win. I feel like I'm being used. But yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> it's a deal. If we could both benefit, we may as well stick together. Safer than going into the woods, woods alone. That's for sure. He's... Yeah, I mean, I guess I went in alone last time. I hope I didn't go in with Dogi last time. Adol and Durin decided to accept the challenge of mapping the Great Forest of Salsetta. As it was late, however, they opted to rest up at the inn for their impending expedition. Let's see. The next morning, they visited the Governor General to formally accept the mission, and then immediately began preparing for the road ahead. Alright, so we got ourselves a map of Salsetta. Now, I'm sure you're ready to explore, but let me give you a rundown of things you could do in Kaznan. First, quests. Here's how they work. You can accept quests whenever you want by checking the quest board at the end. And every time you complete a quest, you'll get a reward from the client. Ah, yes. The time and trusted tradition of side quests. See that board over there? That's Kaznan's quest board. Let's go have a closer look at it. And if I know these games, there'll be some that are time sensitive and others we can take our time with. All right, to milk a fa- Okay, urgent. We're going to have to do that one fast, I assume. Heavy honey potions. We need someone to grab a bunch. Uh, okay, so these two are things we could do at some point anyway. Purchase 20 chunks of iron ore. Okay, so how do I just accept it? I guess they're just here. Did you check everything posted there? I think so. Hey, it looks like some of this bar has put a request up. Convenient, I guess. If you like accepting it, go talk to him. Might be a good practice. Okay, so we got to go to the board, check what quests are available and who's offering them, and then go to actually, okay. Though this guy's a little odd. <laughs> All right, but that's fine. Quests are displayed on the quest board in each town or village. Examining quest on the board automatically adds it to the journal, so you can undertake it. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay. Good, good. NPCs who offer a quest display a quest mark above them. This quest. Okay, good. All right, by the way, do you have a journal, right? Uh, you can note your progress exploring the Great Forest. Quests you've accepted. Monsters encountered. Materials found. If you write those kinds of things down, it'll come in handy later on. It's always a good idea to take lots of notes. Yeah, too bad I didn't do that before I lost all my memories, but whatever. That's all I've got to say about quests. Next, I'll give you a quick tour around town, so let's head outside. All right, yeah, let's do this. Hey, buddy, give me a quest. Look, if it tells me you have something to say, could you have seen my request on the board? That's right, so what do you want us to do? I might explain. Right now, I'm in the middle of refining my finest product. Naturally, I'm talking about the Almighty Muscle Milkshake. After some thought, I've decided on the perfect ingredient. The essence of the wild, impossible to obtain from livestock, raised surrounded by domestic comforts. That is, gentlemen, Fabros milk. Fabros milk? Indeed, the Fabros is a strong, wild beast, which looks similar to a cow, found on the plains just before the Great Forest. I'd like you two to get and milk one for me. Oh god, okay. Milking a wild beast, huh? Sounds like it's gonna be a tough one. So is there some way to tell the males and the females apart? That's a very important question. Seeing as well, we'll obviously have to milk a female. The easiest way to tell them apart is to look at the horns. Males have three horns, while the females only have one. Easy, huh? All right. There are also a few other things you should bear in mind. First is the female Frabrosis are exceptionally cautious beasts. As such, you won't find many of them on the plains. If one of them sees a threat, it'll run away immediately. Oh, God. So we're going to have to sneak up on it. That sounds super annoying, but all right. You're pretty knowledgeable about these things, aren't you? Yeah, of course. In my younger days, I would sometimes milk a Fabros and drink on it. But I can't abandon this shop long enough to do that now. All I could do is put a request ask someone else to do it for me. Right. I think that covers everything. Got all that at all? Yep. All right. We'll look for a few Fabros last time. 
<laughs> you can milk either one, but only one should be used to cream your coffee, right? <laughs> Here, let me show you. Point of the area in the map of the Great Forest. All right, so now we have a spot where the female fibrosis are. All right, well, so that's going to be interesting. Boy has lost his memories and a suspicious information dealer. What a pair you two are. Oh, who are you? All right, name's Black. I'm an information dealer. He's worked in his town for quite some time. Ah, it's a Durin's competition. I've met you before, but it's not as if we spoke all that much then either. Either way, nice to meet you again. Adol nodded slightly, but politely. Well, we're off to the Great Forest pretty soon, so you got anything useful on it? Maybe. That is a hundred gold sound. Yeah, fine. Fuck it. The information I have is about two of the most dangerous places in the Great Forest. The commonly known as the Forest Labyrinth and the Misty Peak. It's even easier to lose your way in those areas than it is in the rest of the forest. And before you know it, you're walking in circles. Lovely. They're not places you want to be if you can help it. I see. So how do we get through them? <laughs> Damned if I do. <laughs> More like, that's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> I just know that those places exist. That's it. Other than that, just be careful. Yes? Oh, boy. Still, suppose you can't expect any more than that for 100 gold. Either way, seems like we'll just have to head into the forest and see for ourselves. Oh, you have a quest. Perfect. Ask about Langritz. Oh, are you here about Langritz? This request actually came from the Governor General's office. It's too dangerous to leave that thing alone for too long. So we've sent reward money to advance to give to whoever uh, kills it. Just let me know if you happen to be the one. This money's got your name on it. All right, cool. Okay, so we just have to... Is that the Governor General? Oh, nope. Ah, Information Dealer Rogue. I'm Rogue, not quite an Information Dealer, but I do have some connections to that general line of work. You wouldn't happen to be that adult fellow who defeated the monster in the mine yesterday, would you? That fiery red hair is just as spectacular as people say. Darren, would you mind letting me borrow him for a while? 10 minutes is all I need. Not a chance. What do you want with him anyway? What do I want? <laughs> Never you mind. If you ever need anything, or even if you don't, feel free to come see me. I'll be happy to tell all sorts of things to you too for free. Interesting. Not sure what all that's about, but... Okay, is that everybody here? Nope, can't read that. Let's go upstairs. Is there anything up here? Well, if it isn't at all, you look like you're back to your old perky self. I was amazed when I heard about what you did yesterday. No one would have imagined a traveler like you could defeat the monster before the army showed up. Sure showed us. Now you're going to be mapping out the Great Forest, right? Goes without saying, but the Great Forest is a terrifying place. Careful in there, you hear? Okay, you don't actually have anything to offer me. Or not a store. Let's take a look. One minute of fun, nine minutes of adult crying and saying, This never... <laughs> <laughs> oh man so there are a few shops at Kasdan worth mentioning <laughs> oh boy that is Billy's Curios he sells all kinds of items from health potions to antidotes alright so there's an item shop Thomas' so Armory good old armor shop as the name suggests he's your man if you need any new weapons or armor so we have a look over there then no, oh, we just warp over here. Cool. It's cool. Nice place, isn't it? That guy over there is its namesake, Thomas. Want to buy any weapons or armor? He's the man to talk to. All right, well, I guess we'll take a look. Yep, okay. Next, I'll show you around the trading post. Which is going to be downstairs, okay? Apparently in the same building. Director from that side. Oh, man, that's going to be fucking complicated as shit. But fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Goldsmith Trading Post. Bunch of handy shops here. Alright, Smithy, where you can get your armor. Okay, arms and armor are fine. Yep, that's that's a pretty much a staple of, our, uh, of a lot of East games. It's your one-stop murder and commerce shop. I'm going to remember that for my next D&D <laughs> campaign where I'm running an armor thing. Such and such, such and such. I'm your one-stop murder and commerce emporium. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have emeralds. Okay, to raise the poison stat. We have a poison stat. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess emeralds raise a poison stat, and then 
Dodge, okay, eight stats can be, oh boy, that's gonna be, all right, all right. So this one's gonna be a little more complicated than most of them. Rep and reinforcements, attacks deal more damage, sometimes poison, attacks sometimes cause paralysis. Well, that sounds awesome. Armor reinforcements, reduces the duration of, okay. Yep, all right, so a lot of the same stuff. Blacksmith can also refine ore into metals and gems if you bring some to the work with. Okay, so we're gonna need them too. Find on DNA reinforcing. Alright, the good old quest, the old the good old crafting system. Ugh. More, more of these. Let's see, the metals and gems used to enforce can be created through the refining process. Refining ore. Okay. So if we get a bunch of coal, we can refine it into iron. That's That's not how this works, but that's okay. Oh god, that. Okay, so clearly the makers of this game did not understand basic chemistry, but that's that's fine. That's 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 all fine. How? Okay, coal is fucking carbon. Fucking carbon. You don't make iron from carbon. At least not with any normal. Like, ugh. God damn it. <laughs> Man over there is a goldsmith, a shop's owner. If you give him a bunch of one material, uh, one material, he'll exchange them for. Oh, okay. Okay, they're not converting it. They're, you're selling it and getting stuff of higher value back. That makes more sense. Okay. And best of all, he doesn't charge anything, so it's definitely a service worth using. I think that's what they meant by refining. It's probably just a translation issue. Yeah, not with that attitude. <laughs> oh, man. In large enough quantities, certain materials, such as brittle bones, can be exchanged for higher quality materials. Exchanging is free of charge. Maybe they do mean refining, because that's an exchange shop. Oh, jeez. Whatever. Uh, oh, my goodness. So let's, let's get all these tutorials out of the way, and then we'll go and actually shop. Finally, we've wrapped up my grand tour of Kazdan. What a pain. If you hadn't gone and lost your memories, I wouldn't have had to bother showing you to all, you would all again. So he did this. He's done this twice now. That's actually funny. Oh, it was nothing. Small potatoes compared to all the money I'll make working with you. Well, that's true. That's pretty much Kazdan in a nutshell. So, time to start planning how we're going to tackle the Great Forest. Oh, that is a pretty big forest. Pretty amazing view, right? That's the Great Forest of Salsetta, spreading out from one horizon to the other like a vast sea of trees. Can't wait to start exploring it. Ugh. <sighs> Well, we'll see how long that enthusiasm lasts. Though apparently you've made it back alive from there once already. Anyway, take a look to the northwest. That's a big tree. Can't see it too well today because of the fog, but when it's nice out, there's a huge tree that towers well over all the others. <laughs> Remember, only you could start wildfires with <laughs> flamethrowers. <laughs> I'm listening about here on the map, roughly. All right, so that's our that's our goal, apparently. Also, word around the Governor General's office is that the mouth of a large river has been found along the forest's coastline. If that's true, it'd mean a river cuts right through the middle of the forest. Okay, well, that works. Which would put it about here-ish? Hey, Operator Mudhorn Clan, greetings. How is your weekend? We're obviously getting uh, into the meat of East 4 here. These two bits of information are pretty much all we've got to go on for the moment. Might as well check them both out, up to where you, you know, where we head first. Only things we can rely on at this point are our own two legs and a blank ass map. <laughs> we need to leave town through the north exit to get to the Great Forest. As soon as you're ready, let's get going. So usually, and then we can open the map. All right, so we'll do that. So typically map completion ends up being a decent litmus test later on for how far we are through the other games. At least that's been my experience. Picking the minimap in the upper right corner or pressing start, uh, you can enlarge it to view the following information. All right, so quest board, da 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 da, okay. Well, that seems to make sense. Okay, percentage can be checked, yep. There are 10 reward tiers in total, yep. Uh, and Griselda will be the one giving us uh, rewards. So the more of Find the map opening. we complete. Focus on offense. Find an opening. Let's get them. Ah, that's what I must have done. I must have stitched it. Uh, okay. That's why he was doing such a bad job of um, 
earlier, I switched him to evasion inadvertently. Okay, so let's take a look at that map. That's not the map. That's not the map either, but we can go to the map this way. I was thinking there was a shortcut. Okay. All right, so here we go. Bear on the plains. Demoka Fabros. <laughs> All right, we can zoom out. All right, so wow, we got to go to the Great Forest. Okay, we're about one, almost 1% 1 here. Lovely. All right, so here's Frontier City of Kaznan, purchasing iron ore honey potions. Well, let's try and do this then. Let's go down and let's, oh, let's talk to you. On left, you'll find the soldiers. On the right is the cafeteria. And straight ahead, you'll find this will set in headquarters. The layout is quite simple, so I doubt there's any chance of getting lost. Unless, of course, you're a moron. <laughs> Great. So when I get lost, this guard basically has accused me of being a moron. It's a matter, only a matter of time. <laughs> One of these will eventually be the map. Yeah, yeah, eventually. You just keep pushing buttons. But no, in all seriousness, I think one of these shortcuts will be a map. Let's see. Let's talk to this dude. Hi, did you hear about Helldiver's 2 Star Wars mod? It's got Commander Cody and Captain Rex and Commander Apo and Hunter as character playable. They replaced old set. So I've actually never played Helldiver's 2. A bunch of my friends do play it, but um, but I but I, I actually have not played Helldiver's 2, believe it or not. Um, so I, I don't know what any of those mean. Um, so no, I didn't hear about that. Sorry. <laughs> I should give Helldivers 2 a try, though. My friend Frank constantly talks it up. And for, uh, what was it? Obligatory democracy? Something along those lines? So you're Wallace. We saw your quest on the board. That's me. So you've come to accept it, then? Well, that depends on the details. Fair enough. I'll ask for you to run a little errand on my behalf. I give you the funds, so go to the item shop and buy me some honey potions. That's all there is to it. Wait, seriously? You just can't go there yourself? Are you really that lazy? Well, I have my reasons. Let's just put it that way. Oh, so the item shop guy doesn't like this guy, clearly. <laughs> I will certainly do that, uh, Mudhorn. I will absolutely do that. So will you accept? No, let's accept. Really? Thanks. So we just have to buy you three honey potions. That's it? Well, better get going then. You said you'd provide the funds, right? Right, here you are. So we picked up Brittle Bone times 120. You're kidding me. Don't uh, people usually deal in money around here? <laughs> Hold on now, don't give me that look. It might not be gold, but it's still payment. <laughs> I get it. You want us to exchange this then? Exactly. If you sell those as they are, you won't get much for them. But if you exchange them for something a bit more valuable at the trading post, you'll get a lot more. Trade them uh, all for sturdy bones, and you should be able to sell those for 300 gold. And buying three honey potions costs exactly that. See? We not about be losing any money, but I still kind of feel cheated somehow. <laughs> yeah. Tutorial commerce quest. That's exactly what this bullshit is. Come on, Adol. Let's get this over with. Uh, thanks. That's all right, because I think... We have three honey potions anyway, so fuck it. We're just going to give this guy hand over honey potion times three, and we'll complete this quest anyway. Here you go. From the market. Totally from the market. I totally didn't just go into my backpack and give you three honey potions. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. That's the stuff needed. Exactly what I was looking for. It's a wonder I managed to buy the wrong thing before. You brought, You bought the wrong thing? Yeah, the other day I went in the item shop to buy some honey potions, and somehow wanted it out... <laughs> Wound up walking out with bitter potions instead. And those bitter potions are your reward, so here you go. Oh, you bastard. Picked up bitter potion times three. I don't know who buys these things. Bitter and more expensive? Unbelievable. But they're apparently high quality, so what do I know? Bottoms up, gentlemen. Gulp, gulp. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Nothing goes food better than a good honey potion. This guy is a character, man. <laughs> Didn't have these three hidden in my prison wallet, but we're walking in the door, right? Yeah. Completed a quest. Let's see what we just got. Oh, but those require 500 HP, so that was a nice upgrade. 
right. And we still got better stuff. Theoretically. So now we could go, we could replace our three honey potions that we just bought. Alright, so what's in here? Hey, buddy. About to go to sleep. Can you, uh, go away, please? <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, dude. What's going on? I had to check and see if you were reading Prison Wallet from Chat of the Game. Jesus. <laughs> Closed. Alright, will that open later? Nope. Alright, so these are closed. That's door. Cool. We can exit this. No, I can't. Exit that way. Damn it. This is the way out. So this is East 4, Memories of Celsetta. This is actually my first time playing this game. I've uh, played a bunch of East games over the years, but I've never played East 4. Mostly because the original East 4, um, which the TurboGrafx version was Dawn of East, and uh, that never came to the States. That was, uh, that was a Japan only game. Well, of course, Mask of the Sun was also. So you had Dawn of East, which was Hudson Soft's version of East 4. And then you had a different company make um, Mask of the Sun, which was also East 4. It gets very confusing. Uh, and there were some story differences between the two. And so this is Falcom's redo and remake of East 4 that they released on PSP, I think, and uh, Steam. And this is the canon version. So yeah, let's take a look. How much money do we have? Uh, well, we don't have enough for that. I've got, okay, I've got 516 gold. So we could buy a brass knuckle, currently equipped, and we can't afford any of that stuff. But so far I'm liking it. Um, Let's see, we could sell these. No, I'm definitely not selling the rotor droplet. So now let's go back down here, deal with that annoying conversion. Yeah, we'll do the conversion while the ad's playing. <laughs> that will definitely do. Uh, exchange materials, so you have exchange. Wait, I thought I could exchange those for here. Can I not? Okay, I can't, I don't have enough. Oh, you've come about the iron ore? Appreciate your interest, but you don't seem to have enough. Uh, okay, fine. Let's try going here. I sell. Uh, wow. I can't afford that at all. Holy shit. Gold plated replica of an ancient treasure. Okay, pure gold shines brilliantly. Has an interesting story. Okay. So there's the gold pedestal and the gold pedestal replica. Sweet. Okay. Lovely. Didn't, weren't we able to come here and do some exchanging of things? Am I crazy on that? Wow. And that would cost us 500 gold to do. That must be really, really worth it when we eventually do that. All right. So we can't do any of these things. I really thought we could go here. Am I in the wrong store, maybe? I feel like it was this guy that would exchange those, but you know what? I guess it's not important now. All right, so that's where that quest takes us eventually. Let's go up here. Since we haven't explored this area. Let's do that now and complete more of the map. What's this? Go into a random person's house and talk to them. All right, time to get started on today's housework. <laughs> hey, you never know what NPCs have for you. Ooh, cat. I'm always nervous around cats, but there's something about this one that just draws me in. <laughs> okay, so when we have fruits or nuts, we should give it to the cat. Got it. When's daddy coming home? Might be a bit early, but I suppose I should be thinking about what to do for dinner tonight. Husband needs the energy to work after all. Good housewife must always be mindful of her family's needs. Nothing else here. Stairs. Nope, nothing here. 
can't interact with any of these things. Nope. But still, worth exploring. RPGing 101. Explore everything. Oh, that's... Governor General Griselda is so beautiful, isn't she? Those cool lives of hers are like gems. Oh, did you want to pass through here? Sorry, I can't let you do that. You need the Governor General's permission to leave Salsetta. Sorry, but those are the rules. Alright, so this is probably the end of the game when we leave. Can't wait to finish work and start drinking. Truly is what keeps me going, sir. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our mission. Let's uh, head out of here and start doing quests. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, I could go back up there and talk to Griselda again. Do I want to go back up and talk to Griselda? Nah, I don't think there's any point to do that. Although, watch, there's like a hidden quest or something. God damn it. Oh, let's go up this way now. Yeah, the game will let me. Is there any purpose of this? No. It doesn't look like there was any purpose to that. Out of the way, you! Oh, Leo. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. It's you. At all, was it? I've just been ordered to start work on a map into the Great Forest by the, <laughs> by the Governor General herself. Yeah. She gave that quest to, like, just about anybody who wants to take the reward, take you up, her up on that quest and hope a reward, dude. You're not the only one. I hear you were told to do the same. But now that I'm on the case, you may as well just go home. <laughs> I hate this guy already. Don't people say no one ever comes out of the Great Forest alive, Sancho? Are we going to be okay? Oh, you now. guys are fucked. <laughs> we actually try to keep up with the commander's madness. If we do what he says for a while, though, we can just pretend to get lost and breathe easy. Oh my god, we can all hear you. Fools! Imbeciles, you're pathetic. That reward money will be ours. Then our praises will be sung throughout the land, you hear me? <laughs> Come on, we're leaving. Yes, sir! <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Yes, we got competition. I really don't think we have much to worry about. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's just forget about that awkwardness and move on. We've got a map to make. Alright, so obviously we're gonna head out this way. But I see more areas we could explore. What's this? No, oh, this just leads us more into that area. Okay, let's. Yeah, fine. Let's let's move out. Oh, you must be Adol. Who took care of the incident in the mine yesterday? That red hair is a dead giveaway. Actually, I haven't seen you passing through here. How, oh, actually, haven't I seen you passing through here once before? Yeah, I'm sure I have. We don't get enough visitors for me to forget a face too easily, much less one I topped off. Uh, with hair like that. And you've gone out uh, into the Great Forest too, if I'm not mistaken. So you know better than most just how dangerous that place is. You've got some guts to want to go back for more, I'll give you that. It doesn't seem like you're doing it purely for the reward money either. Well, best of luck to you. You're gonna need it. Yep. Yes, we are. Ah. Perfect. Although that one's not red. This one's different. Interesting. Wait, why? Can I just warp to these? Yes, I can. All right. We don't need to right now. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, let's save. Yeah, let's save. <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. Let's do that. Right then, it's almost time for us to get started exploring the Great Forest. Before that, though... Oh! I've heard this track before! This is Burning Sword! Nice! Okay, so, yeah. So that's this game. Cool. Before that, though... You've had a bit of a warm-up at the mines, but the monsters in the Great Forest are on a different level altogether. So let me give you a few pointers on combat technique. Excellent kill, defeated using the attack type this weekend, to drop more gold. Oh, okay. Skill finish. Ah, right, okay, yep. Same stuff as uh, East 8 and 9. Flash card, yep. 
So if we block, we can... Uh, damage is nullified, gauge is increased, also attacks with the critical hits for short. Oh, okay, so I should do that. Evade just as the flash move. Party will be invincible for a time, and enemies will move in slow motion. All right, so there are appeals to both. Gold. Yep, things they'll drop. All right. I guess that's about everything. All that's left is for you to try them out in an actual battle. Yep, let's do this. That's what I was looking for. This map. <laughs> All right, so there's Kaznan. Um, I wonder what the, I forgot. I already forgot what that was. Let's go check it out. I think I've got the original. Uh, so I've got a bunch of East music that I've collected over the years. Oh, okay, it's just items. Nothing actually all that important there. Um, but yeah, I've got the uh, original version of this particular track in my uh, song folder somewhere. I think I like the original one, but this is, a, this is still pretty good. <laughs> kind of hope I finish them. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? I should be finishing him off with that, not opening with that. Okay, that's the flash guard, and that's the bait. Certainly are collecting a certain, certain amount of stuff. Well, we're not giving that to. Them. That's just rotting stuff. Ah, uh, because we're out in the open, we'll regain health if we just sit still here, won't we? Come on, come on, come on! Give me HP. There it is. It's a beautiful thing. Where is it? Oh, did we already get everything out of there? We already got everything out of there. Okay. So let's see, do we want to go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty fun. Oh boy, okay. So we've gone up there, and there might be something down there to explore, but we can do that when we go back to Kaznan. I'm sure we'll be going back and forth to Kaznan a bunch. Oh shit. That is gonna fucking hurt. Okay, get away from that fucking tree. Jesus Christ. There we go. Alright, took that fucker down. First these guys hurting on me. Okay, let's, uh, let's heal. Our HP meter will go up for a bit. There we go. Now once we're in dungeons, we'll use uh, those, uh, those potions to heal. But when we're outside, we just regenerate health uh, automatically. Cool. And just like later games, the longer we wait, the more we'll regain. Basically, a kind of a hybrid system between 
be seven and he's eight. Ah, and if we wait for the charge, we get a nice opening strike. Hey, buddy. You, thank you, Durin. I could have just switched to him in a second. Oh, fine. Fine. Let's do that. I really don't feel like doing this one. Easy enough. Rotting leaves. Okay, is there any other way to go? I don't think so. Let's proceed. A lot of this is going to be exploring and figuring out what the fuck's what. Ooh, we haven't traveled that far and I'm already tired. <laughs> Here's a tip, Adol. When you feel tired, it's important to stop moving and rest for a while. If you do that, you'll feel better in no time. Yes, you know. I already figured that out. <laughs> oh, with the two of us fighting, working together is really important too. So feel free to give me orders if you need to. Yeah, I've already done that. Yep, offensive and defensive. Yep, we figured that out already, too. That's about all I've got for the moment. Come on, Adol, let's keep up the pace. But yeah, if I hadn't already figured that out, that would have been good to hear and know. Getting materials. I don't know what they're good for, but we're getting them. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. So we'll deal with this. Now. Yeah, yeah cross that speed to do, but the more we do it, the most likely. At least. Let's take a look. Skills. Rising Edge. Level 1. Yep. The more we use it, the more it's going to level up. Sometimes it may even make sense to do it occasionally. That'll teach me to kind of demonstrate something in the meantime. Oh. Right, I thought I got away from it. All right, that's all right. So they like to charge forward. Let's see, while well, you regenerate some health, and we're getting hit, we're getting XP, so that's good. Hey, uh, buddy! Oh shit! Once, not the end of the world. Yeah, right, we already got that one. Perfect. Down, here we go. Oh. Just heading back the way we came. We don't need to do that. Oh, good job. I didn't even see those. Good job, Durin. Get split hair? Ew. Hey, Durin, how about you actually kill that thing instead of just letting it fucking fuck up my shit? Dude. 
go explore this lake. Damn reason. Well, there's one of our quest markers. The question is, is it something tough that we're not leveled up for? Cool our jets for a minute. <laughs> the four cardinal directions. North, south, east, and west. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I already had, had to fucking aggro this one. Now let's try that again where we heal ourselves and let's go south and see what's going on down there. What I'll also do is I'll save. Just in case I get in over my head here. That is cool, they have an animation where they like stretch. That's neat. Okay. Save. Let's go see what this is. Is this our milking quest or is this... to it. You probably have to go. Yep. Okay. Slowly. Damn it. The female Fabros ran away. I was even going slow, man. Looks like it spotted us. Guess we need to be really careful to stay out of its line of sight. Oh, okay. We'll just have to wait for it to come back and try again. All right. All right, looks like it's back. Okay, it lets us try this. Now, Mucho said Fable Fabris is a really skittish, so we need to approach it from behind very carefully this time. And of course, it's off screen. It's not like I can see the fucker. Okay. Red light, green light, that cow. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. It fucking worked, though. Danny coming. All right, we managed to get behind it without it noticing us. Let's get milking it before it bolts away. Please tell me it's not some sort of fucking mini game. Oh, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Man, she's a jittery one. Took her long enough to notice us. And then Adol gets kicked in the face, right? That's what I was expecting. Oh my goodness. Sorry, but that wasn't so bad. So now if we go back, we can cash in that quest. Uh, where am I going? Already been there. Okay, so we can either go up that way or we can go down this way. Uh... Alright, so I'm here. And it's kind of showing me where I've just been. So that's good. That is not a statue that we've discovered yet, but it must be up there. Alright, so bear on the planes. Okay, this is the monster we have to kill. So yeah, we may as well do this one while we're here. Uh, Alright, the bear might be a little scary, but fuck it, let's try it. Okay, so far this game's pretty fun. 
It's got the same flash guard and uh, flash moves that a lot of later games have. Good. We need that level. There's our bear. Oh, that's a waterfall. Okay. Ah, uh, we're at the edge of the map. Okay, let's heal, save, and then fight that bear. We've got this. We've got this. Oh, I've got a thousand gold now. So I theoretically could go back to Kaznan. Our adventure is only just beginning. And, uh... Buy some better equipment. If this bear turns out to be too tough. Oh, yeah, that thing looks pretty fucked up. And there's a treasure just behind it, because of course there is. Bears have no problems being in water. Damn it. No. Ow. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's mauling me! <laughs> oh my god, that sucked! <laughs> Run away! Can I go in the menu? Oh, I can go in the menu. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's heal. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. We cannot let the bear do that fucking again. Oh my god. Ow. Fuck. I think I'm punching above my weight here. Go. Fucking this asshole up now. There we go. Okay. Whew. So, that just fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's uh let's heal. Durant'll heal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can't wait to see what lies ahead. Really at all? We just fought a fucking bear. I think we've seen enough, haven't we? So if we do this longer, we also heal Duran. So let's do that. Yeah, Yogi got murdered. Yogi was angry, man! <laughs> Can't wait to see what lies ahead. Holy fuck! That was one pissed off Yogi Bear. We should have fed us fucking forest fire. <laughs> I mean, granted, that's smoky, but, you know, shit, man. Okay, let's see. Is there any way we can just warp on the map? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, we can't warp from here, can we? You have to go to a monument in order to warp, don't we? I can set the destination, but uh, I can't actually warp. All right. So we have to be at a monument to work. That's okay. Let's go back to Kaznan. Let's cash in that quest. Let's see how much money we made for cashing in that quest. And, uh... That stuff. No. thing. That tree is in a really terrible place, too. Oh, dear God. Another one of those fucking gigantic three-horned bulls. Now, fuck that thing. Nope, don't mind me. We're just going... Oh. 
since it chased us all that way. Okay. Since it really wanted to die that badly. This should be the way back to Kazdin, right? No, we have to go through here and then there's another map of wilderness. Trying to actually hit the thing. This is what happens when I actually hit. Man, there are a ton of these little bastards, aren't they? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Fight this thing. Guys, where was the map? Uh, okay, Kazdin's down there. Perfect. Nope. Not on. <laughs> Only missing a fucking pack of them. I was going to be content to just run by them, but hey, if they all wanted to gang up on us like that. Oh. Okay, okay. You hit me, now you have to die. Then the rules. Stupid monsters. Oh, wait, we didn't explore this. We were going to do this when we came through here again. Yeah, let's do it. And then I wonder what the map completion is going to look like. I don't think there's anything over here. Eh. Right, kill this thing. Then we'll check the map completion. Now we got an ad break. That's fine. That's a good time for an ad break while we just do that. I am a little curious here, though. Oh, we went from 1% to 7. Wow. All right, so just like that, we're closing in on 10%. So once we do 10%, we can, um, we'll be in much better shape to, uh, yeah, now it'll let us warp to other places. Can it warp to monuments of a different color? Oh, okay. Ah, so once we get the monument that's here, we can warp to that one. All right, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Let's find out. Okay. So let's, uh, let's cash in a couple of these quests here. I don't actually remember which ones were which. This guy's the milk one. Yeah, we were able to milk it. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta taste it right away. This unique punchy taste. How I've missed it. I'm gonna try and make my new drink right away. That reminds me, I had to get, to get some uh, almond milk. It's not real milk, it's real like almond juice, but whatever. It works. Adult Duran and Mucho held their glasses together and drank the Fabros milkshake. Man, I want a milkshake now so bad. This is well. Tell him it tastes wonderful. <laughs> There's no need to lie now. You won't hurt my feelings. This is quite frankly rather revolting. <laughs> It's certainly unique, I'll give you that, but that gamey tang really gets stuck in your nose. Couldn't taste it, said it better myself. I don't know what went wrong, the recipe seemed perfect. Either way, I still need to thank the two of you for going to the trouble of getting the milk for me. Here's the reward I promised. Yes, we have money. And don't give up, you'll get it. Ah, uh, of course. Eh, this is nothing. I recover from steps like this all the time, and at record speed. I am a man! <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing. But there's a lesson there, you know. In life, when you fail, that is just an opportunity to succeed. Uh, why do I still have a flag here? Oh. 
What? You defeated Langridge? Wow, amazing. Here's your reward money. All right, I will definitely take that. That was nothing. Perfect. We got Bear in the Plains. Okay, now that's done. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't remember what that quest was. Did we get it already? Wow, that looked like Estelle from... Um, We have a quest for in here. Am I crazy? Am I losing my fucking mind? Well, anyway. Let's buy. Alright, so we can now buy the long saber. Now we could probably even buy something better. Let's see, spear fangs can't be equipped, long spear, golden mace. Damn. Alright, so we could buy a steel gauntlet. We could also buy the long saber. Let's buy that long saber. Perfect. Yep. Let's equip battle. We certainly have money. Yeah, equip the steel gauntlet. One. Three. Yep, perfect. Okay. Leather plate. Iron breastplate. Hell yeah. And then we'll do the same. Perfect. Okay. This is working around. Yeah, side quests ahoy. That's damn right. But you know what? That worked for uh, money. I just can't figure out why I've got a quest marker down there. Who do I have a quest with that I didn't talk to? Is it you? Probably you. Oh, yeah. I need to sell iron ore. Oh, you've cut about the iron ore. I appreciate your interest, but you don't seem to have enough. Come back when you brought what I need. Let's see. Exchange. God, we have 10. All right, so we've got eight iron ore and we need 20. Jesus, what a pain in the ass. Well, let's at least do that. And we'll get two of these. So that'll work. So now we've got 10. We just need... Ten more. All right. So once we get 20, we'll sell that. Okay. That was the quest I was missing here. But just like that, we're now much better equipped than we just were. Let's save. Okay. Next. This is the way to the mine. We don't need to go back into the mine. Let's go back upstairs. This is probably the easiest way up. All right. And then back... That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to the journal. Oh, and actually, lost memories. Uh, it seems like a warp between monuments. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, wow, that's a, that's a lot. Okay. So this is lost memories. The Great Forest. A large tree can be seen in the northwest. Duran shared some useful corners. All right, so we don't need anything like that. Let's go into memories. So the only memory we've got is, am I a swordsman? We got that before the raid. Uh, recall, you know, let's just recall this really fast. I, I couldn't to. believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. I honor the skill and courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with a sword is really something. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. But I still don't know who any of those people are. Huh. Countless voices speak of swords. Sorry. Okay, and then the map. Alright, we're at now 7%. Sweet, we're moving along. Okay. Yeah, we do a lot more damage now. I could have done that and then dealt with the bear. That probably would have been easier. Whatever. Fuck it. In a way, we saved ourselves a trip. So we only have really one way to go here. Let's just get out. Let's, let's make our way up without too much delay here. Getting a bunch of split hair for whatever that's worth. 
Man, knock that fucker right in the air. Totally... Nope, I'm going the right way. I thought I was lost, but I was not. just to knock that shithead into the air. Yeah, here we go. Now, well, it might be worth it to go to there for the iron ore, but I'd rather not. Let's just... Let's just keep going and advance a little bit. I can always worry about the iron ore later. Dead, dead, dead. Lots of dead. Uh, oh, sounds like uh, Duran just leveled up a uh, level up. There's one more. Cool. <laughs> hey, Ned. I appreciate you, uh, redeeming nice little anime wow. <laughs> Game does look, oh fuck. Oh god. At least we got rid of the surrounding. Oh. All right, asshole. Okay, now that we can relax for a second, <laughs> we'll recheck the map and see which way we should be going. I think I need to go around that lake just just below us and then head back north. I think that's where I need to be going. But we'll regenerate some hit points here. Yeah, those uh, those cows are. Seriously angry, angry bovine little bastards. They pack a punch, boy. Uh, yep, that is exactly where I want to go. Because, yeah, we went... Um, let me zoom out. That does that. Can I really not zoom out? Really can't zoom out? Okay, I really can't zoom out. <laughs> Fair enough! But I do want to go around this way. I was right! Here. Hopefully nothing is here waiting for us, but of course there is. As well. At least get out of that. C -c -c Combo breaker! <laughs> you little bastard. I have to admit that anime wow is one of my favorite uh sound effects. <laughs> Much easier than me doing it myself with my voice. Oh shit. Damn it. Thought I avoided it. There we go. Killed it. Actually we had an easier we had an easier time with it than that time. Alright, is there anything else? Nothing else over here now? Okay. Let's head back up. Everything there. Now we can warp between the two, and we don't have to go through the beast planes necessarily again. Alright, so we've got two targets. We've got this tree, and we've also got the river. We're almost to this, uh... Ah, I'm guessing there's the forest of Kaznan, or the forest of Salsetta now. Weird. I could see beasts all around us before, but now it's like they're all gone. Even the beasts are fucking afraid of this forest. Wait, is that? Yeah, sure enough. I heard about this from a colleague of mine. 
He said that there are places in the Great Forest where spirit tree saplings grow and monsters will never approach them. What's a spirit tree? Well, supposedly some god who lived in this area planted them. Or so the story goes. So this is the Adol What's a Paladin game, but justified in that uh, Adol has amnesia, so he really doesn't remember fucking anything. Well, supposedly some god who lived in this area planted... Oh, so the story goes right. Uh, I figured it was all a load of nonsense, but, well, if nothing else, this seems like an ideal place to take a breather. Give me a hand setting this up, would you? I'm guessing this is going to be a campsite. All right. Voila, how's that? Not bad, huh? We should probably set up a tent every time we find a sapling. These could be our bases of operations or something. The sun's been down for a while, so what do you say we're resting here for the night? There we go, that night. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. On one of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind. Oh, one of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored, okay. So we don't just need orbs, we just, as we progress through the story, we'll get pieces of our memory. Ah, that! That is not Darm Tower. The fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have a tower at some point in this game. Ah, uh, that was a great night's sleep. But only for me, it looks like. You're looking pretty groggy yourself. You have a nightmare? That all described the memory he'd regained. Tower, huh? Interesting. I've never heard of there being one out in the forest, but I guess there must be if you remember it that distinctly. Either way, if resting near saplings helps to get your memories back, we should do it every time we stumble across one. Yes, we should. All right, upon reaching a camp for the first time, Matt, I'll regain her memory. Cool. Near my memory fragments will also be noted on the map. Okay, camps also boast the following functions. Upon entry and cap, following... Okay, good. Following party members will be revived. Status effects cured. Uh, da 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 Resting in tent charges the extra gauge to a man of them. Okay. Alright. Memory fragments are now visible. Oh, we got a memory fragment over there, huh? Is it just me, or is the map really zoomed in now? But, alright. Well, I guess that's how it works. First things first. Let's save... We're level five. We're getting there. So there's a memory over here. There's our memory there. Oh, right. This is the way back. Okay. So this is the way we want to go. Sure are dense here. Looks like we're in the heart of the forest now. I'm sure you already know this, but this is when the real danger starts. Not many go past this and live to tell about it. It's bad enough you lose your sense of direction, but then you also lose your sense of time on top of that. And the beasts here know all kinds of dangerous tricks, so you better watch out for being poisoned and stuff too. Still, you made it out here alive once before on your own, and this time you've got me with you. So what the hell, right? Let's dive in and see what we can find. Just make sure you pace yourself, and we'll be fine. Time passes rapidly in a great forest. Oh, we have to worry about time here as well? Lovely. Well, shit. All right. Great. Oh, so now we have enough coal. Ah. Oh, we just got a shit ton of iron ore. Sweet. Oh shit. Okay, we can't fight that thing. Nope. Run. Run away. Bravely run away. And we bravely ran away. <laughs> We bravely ran away. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. Let's find out if we can uh, redeem some of uh, that coal for iron. Maybe we got, maybe we have 20 iron now. Holy smokes. Wow. 
That was fucking brutal. Don't let him hit you. Focus on offense. Am I totally crazy here? I thought. Uh, My turn. Leave it to me. I thought I could zoom out. There it is. Can zoom out. Yeah, that's that's a good zoom. Yeah, I guess here it doesn't really matter much. Okay. Let's head down there and see what we got. Yeah, that totally looks like Estelle from uh, the Tales of series. <laughs> Alright, buddy. How far along are we? Let's change materials. Silver ore, I want iron ore. And coal. Yes, good. Fuck. I'm still too shy. Damn. Alright, but we're closer. We're closer. I thought I got there. Fucked up. Hey, cat. Irene, that red hair. Might you be at all? You seem so kind. Yet you have the strength to defeat a monster. You're simply the dreamiest. <laughs> So let's head back out here. Wow, that thing, that gigantic monster really fucked us up. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Uh, that was... That was bad. <laughs> but alright, let's... let's uh, warp. To the beast planes. And to these planes, we'll go back. I guess we're gonna try to have to avoid that thing. God damn. Yeah, let's just go this way. Uh, instead of that. Okay, that was better. Close to that memory. Let's see what happens here. There it is. Let's touch the light. Kitty kitty. Hi, kitty kitty. What you doing? You did well today. Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting some of like truly Adol's. Uh, uh, I didn't realize we went this far back in time with some of these memories. This is awesome, actually. All right, so that's Adol's father. Wow, it looks... Adol ends up looking just like him later. <laughs> you did well today, Adol. Yeah, I'm fine. This is not... Oh, that's a cat biting me. Hi, kitty. What do you want? Cleo, my toes are not a toy. Come here. This is nothing. But you're still a child, so you need to take care of yourself. <laughs> Your mother up in heaven would never forgive me if you were to get hurt. Oh, boy. I didn't realize his mom died so quick. She... So <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, she must be super mad because all he does is put himself in danger. <laughs> Daddy, who's that? Oh my god, right? Um, Oh, he's a traveling merchant. He comes and stays here for a while, a few times each year. He has all kinds of interesting stories to tell. Ah, uh, so this is what kindles Adol's uh, wanderlust here. He brings them to us like souvenirs. In place of actual souvenirs most of the time. Interesting stories? You want to hear some? We can go talk to him together. Late. <laughs> At all. Where did you go? <laughs> Gracious. He even left his basket behind. He's usually such a serious boy, but it seems he's still his father's child. Ah, I certainly hope he doesn't take after me too much. <laughs> That's cool. Kitty kitty. Adol's base strength increased by one. Nice. Alright. Oh, fuck. For Christ's sakes. I just regained a memory, you assholes. Let me remember. I don't think I want to mess with those assholes. Okay, so I could... 
go up there and see what's up there. Might be worth it. Let's save. Oh. No, that's not a good plan. We can't really fight well in, in here. Oh, okay, but well we can't exit this way. So I wonder what's up this way. Probably somewhere I'm not supposed to go. There we go. Hug the area over here. What the fuck is up here? What is the point of any of this? <laughs> Alright, now we can fight these guys a little bit more effectively. Yeah, come here. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we should not be fucking with that. Uh this way, buddy. Yeah, we're not we're not fucking with it. Let's just go this way. <laughs> Wonder what cat. game bit my foot and then went on to cause other trouble somewhere I'm sure yeah, we got some uh, horror there oh we got a treasure chest ah we got enough iron ore now we can complete that quest good we like levels okay let's find out what's in that treasure chest I don't have no idea which way I should even be going. <laughs> so hopefully we're not going a completely dumbass way. Ooh, we'll take a shield ring. Sweet. We have an accessory. Whip. Hell yeah. Defense plus five. Fuck yeah. Alright. I don't know what's going on up there. Looks like we can continue exploring this way. Alright, let's continue exploring this way. Instead. Ah, I missed him. Good, and Duran just gained a level. Duran, Duran. Oh, I thought I was going to finish it off with that. Alright, so most of we just got these little mermaid, mermaid type things. We got another treasure chest over there. Uh, we got another fish thing to avoid. Yeah, 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 we got tons of iron ore. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't decide to farm iron ore in the damn uh, beast planes. That would have been super annoying. Okay, so wow, we've missed a lot in there. We got a treasure chest up here. Let's see if we can wrap this up. I don't want to go anywhere near that gigantic fish. and see if there's anything useful down here. Doesn't look like there is. Nope, nope. Damn it. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. This way? Uh. These fuckers come on land? <laughs> but that's the way to defeat them. Hey, buddy. Come here, asshole. Come here. Come here. You know you want to come here. Come here, dickhead. 
Come on, buddy. That's it. There you go. Aha, we got you now. Took a little bit of a beating there, but that's okay. Taking way too many stupid hits now at this point. dodge when you do that jumping motion though. You're stuck in place for a second. Right, we're getting the hang of this here. Of course, now I just have to remember where I wanted to go. Perfect. This way. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, all right. That's not great. Let's head over this way. Well, that's not great. Nope, 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 nope. Man, that treasure chest better be fucking worth it. Ow. How do I... It's under the... Oh, it's under the water. Fuck. Interesting. Oh, lovely. We have a waterfall cave. Because of course we do. But at this point, these enemies really aren't much, much of a trouble for us. What's the point of this place? I think I am in a honestly wrong place. That's okay, let's explore. Oh, you've played this before, uh, Nade? Oh, that's a boss. That is totally a boss area. Oh, fuck that. Or at the very least, we're saving it. <laughs> that is so blatantly a boss area. No, I just thought early in the game you uh, you get more leeway than later. I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'd really rather not fight a boss yet, but uh, I'd really rather explore a little bit more. So I really don't know fully where I'm going here. Let's check the map, actually. Let's see. We're here. All right, so we've passed... You know what, we've... Okay. I think we're getting a little away from ourselves. This is to get to this one. I think we should backtrack. Yeah. I think we should backtrack. Because we're supposed to get to the tree first. And most likely that's going to be a boss. That's, uh... Gonna really encourage us... To, uh... Do the other stuff first. I mean, I'm sure if we punch above our weight... We could probably do it. So let's let's get to that tree first, and whatever memory that is over there. I'm thinking that's a good plan. But I had a feeling we were in the wrong kind of wrong region. All right, so swim. It's unfortunate that uh, that treasure chest is down there. I guess maybe there's an item I'll eventually get that'll allow me to swim to it. 
eventually. That's going to be my guess. It's either that or there's something missing that I'm missing that I just either forgot about on a screen or whatever. Yep, this is where we're going here. Alright, so there's a way out up there that we didn't go. But I think we're going to go back down this way. Let's pick up the pace. There's one way we get XP, just wandering around lost. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, though, is once we get, um... That was pretty nice. Um, once I get back to where I really should be going, at that point, we're going to be pretty close to the beast, um... Beast Hills anyway. I'm probably better off. Um, going back to Kaznan and cashing in that other quest with the 20 iron, uh, 20 iron things at this point. Let's run. Move faster. Sure. Give me more iron and silver ore. Why not? Nope. Get away from those things. They will kill us. They kill us bad. Interesting. That in the forest of Kaz, uh, forest of um, Salsetta, time just kind of starts speeding up. And the rest of it, it's time is like fine. It's always daytime everywhere else. I wonder what happens when we spend a ridiculous amount of time in Salsetta, in the actual forest. All right, so we're out back at the frontier city. Now we can cash in that iron quest. May as well check the uh, bulletin board, see if any other new quests have popped up. See if I've forgotten about any. Yeah, one of the perils of uh, playing a game I've never played before. Let's sell the 20 iron ore. We might do a little extra running around that I'm used to. Oh, see so if it's coming around through iron ore. Hmm, looks like the goods are genuine. Well, then I'll purchase your 20 pieces for 5,000 gold. Ooh. Oh, yeah, let's haggle. Oh, 5,000 gold not enough for you? You're quite the negotiator, I'm impressed. Well, then how about 5,500 gold? Let's haggle further. You're quite the tough customer. 6,000 gold and not a bit more. Usually in games, you can haggle about three times and that's about it. So yeah, let's accept that offer. It's a deal, but hey, we just got 1,000 extra gold just for haggling. Picked up 6,000 gold. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Jump well done. Hell yeah. Well, now let's take a... Yeah, let's buy. What do you got to sell? Okay, we're still very far away from that. <laughs> Ooh, we could sell some of our old stuff. Let's sell... Yeah, I don't need that short sword anymore. Sell a brass knuckle. I'll sell that. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. I'll sell those. I don't think I want to sell these. I think I need these. Yeah, let's not mess around with those at the moment. Well, let's see. What can we buy? Now yeah, we're at our maximum here. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, we've got money, so that's nice. Let's head back down and see if we can upgrade any of these. Right? That's what I want to do. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's, that is indeed the stairs. So, I uh, started the 40k match with uh, Lewis earlier. Very interesting mission. I made good tactical choices. Good tactical choices so far. Yeah, let's reinforce. Let's see what we can do with this. Ah, now we can refine. You know, I probably don't need to do that at the moment. Let's just reinforce. Let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, let's re reinforce this. Select material to use. Iron ingots. Four. Yes. Yeah, let's have a long saber plus one. Hell yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't really think that's that big of a deal, but we've got them, so let's do it. 
Yeah, okay. That's much we could do. But anyway, we got a nice uh, long saver plus three. Sweet. Not too bad. I think I'm going to be glad I upgraded the sword. Let's try the other way. <laughs> All right, so it's the day. Let's see. We went out that way the first time. I don't know what would be to the right, but considering those tough monkeys are there, I think to the right would be bad. Let's still check the map. Damn it. I'm trying to check the map, you bastard. <laughs> Set the right button. Okay, so... Oh, there is a memory out that way, too. Well, there's a memory in each direction. Shit. Uh, but this is where we want to go for the Great Forest. We went up all those ways. I don't think there was a way to get to that from where we were. Was there? I don't think there was a way to get there from where we were. I think it mostly was up that way, but you know, I could be mistaken. We could try just going over that way to get to that memory. You know what? Let's not, let's not play games. Let's just go to the tree. See what we got ourselves into in here. Yeah, give us stuff. Next. Well, so I'm poisoned for a minute. I'm doing a really shitty job. Oh. the poison but if we wait long enough poison wears off um am i missing something oh i can't get down there motherfucker really i can't get down there well, there's an entire area over there i must have to get around it from another side yeah we can't get to it there's no way down Yeah, there was just a treasure chest over here. I can't climb. Okay. Fine. Let's head back this way and see what the story is. Shit, was I going the right way? I think there was a way left up there eventually. No, oh, fuck it. Let's just try going this way. Plus, I'll have the monument here to bail me out, just in case I die. Goodbye. Shouldn't we be Goodbye. running? <laughs> okay, we'll just avoid those things. We got a ruin here. So we got some ruins here. Alright, they're not all that challenging to avoid, but yeah, it's just really important to avoid them. Fuck. Okay, hey, buddy. Oh, shit, you throw boulders. Of course you throw boulders. Oh. Can I not get that chest? Oh, it's bullshit! Really? 
I just upgraded my weapon and I just picked up a fucking sh No, you know what? That wasn't as good as what I've got. I've already got a long saber plus three. Wow. I'm so glad they gave me a short sword plus three. Well, that was lame. So the smaller ones aren't too bad. It's the big one that's the real problem. Okay. So we've got a memory over this way. I guess we'll try and get this memory. It's the memory. Yeah, our memory is up to the northeast of this current location. So yeah, let's do... I guess let's do that since I can't get any further left. I tried. Couldn't, couldn't do it. So we must have to get over here somewhere and then make our way left. Maybe there's a way from here to go left and I just didn't do it? Either way. Alright. Let's just hug the south wall. I am so lucky I didn't get poisoned there. Hey, asshole. Come here. Nice shot. <laughs> if I don't say so myself. I really thought it was going to attack me and it just never did. Oh! Right, it. Got slugged right in the face. <laughs> Ouch there. We're doing okay there. Okay, so far we're doing alright. And if it's giving me a short, uh, short sword plus three, it tells me the long saber I've got is more than capable. So equipment is fine. Well, by now we could probably go and cash in part of our map quest. I did not mean to do that pun on purpose. Oh, yeah, those are tough. Nope, 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 nope. Don't mind me. Oh, I really can't. Oh. Kill that fucker. There we go. Not fucking around with you assholes. Okay, that was pretty cool. I will definitely take the Iron Breastplate plus two. Sure. That will do. Perfect. Well, since we already killed those things. Oh, yeah, man. Sweet. Cool. Well, let's see what's up here. What the fuck is that? Okay, place we can't go until much later, probably. Fair enough. Now that looked like an exalted attack, right? <laughs> yeah, the game does have a few of those. We have to charge them up. That's like my, uh, that's uh, Adol's uh, ultimate attack. So uh, he's got Rising Edge, which is his normal skill, but um, his extra skill is Soul Breaker. Whereas Duran's is pulverizing strike. Need the eraser eraser machine. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so we've done that. Uh, we came in through there. So I guess let's go up and see if we can go up. rotting fruit. I want to give the cat good fruit. Oh. Taking way more damage than I would like, though. Oh, we got another one of this circle of things. Interesting. All right. 
Yeah, clearly going to be a quest item later that lets us go past this point. I think we've got a memory over here. Yeah, we do have a memory over here. So hopefully we can get this memory and hopefully there's not a boss protecting it. Ooh, actually. Forest of Dawn East. Alright, so we're in the <laughs> we're in the Forest of Dawn East. Hey, assholes. There's our memory. Ow. Really don't want to use that bitter potion. You know what? Last time I was... Oh, fuck. We got another one of these assholes. Yes, we do have another one of these assholes. Maybe if we stick around up here, it can't get to us. It works. Oh. Alright, it's over there. Maybe I can still get to it. Let's go over here. Alright, let's uh... Leave it to me. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Pick that lock, please. <laughs> there we go. Get ourselves a this gold ingot. Leave it to me. Works. Alright, now let's go get that memory. It is. Oh fuck. I don't need these guys. Ooh, we got a Chico nut though. We can give that to the cat. Here. There we go. Let's see this memory. And then I'll pause and get a quick drink here. Hunter. So what happened to the princess after that? Hilda the merchant. Oh, it was awful. I'm afraid she met a most untimely end. Ah, you've come back to listen again. Ah, okay, this makes sense. Oh, it's you, at all. Shouldn't you be in bed by now? Where did that princess live? Far away, on foreign shores. Foreign short? <laughs> but there isn't anywhere around here with a name like that. I guess the idea of a world outside your familiars is still a bit much for a young boy like you. The world outside this village is a vast place, filled with wonders. For example, have you ever heard of the ocean? <laughs> ocean? It's where most of my adventures are going to come from every because I get shipwrecked everywhere I fucking go. <laughs> That's right. Let me tell you a tale of the ocean and the pirates who roam it. All right. I'm noticing a pattern, everyone. Every time we get a memory here, our, uh, our stats increase by uh, a certain amount. That's such bullshit. It can hit me and I can't hit it. Oh, and it's taunting me too. Douche canoe. One day. Oh. I realized I can get around to it. Can't I? No. I can't. I can just get up here. Oh, that's that's great. Thanks. Yeah, let me get the flower. Because, you know, I'm super excited about that flower. Not the delicious candy-like fucking treasure chest underneath it. Fine. I think that's it for this area. Yeah, I mean, we could explore that other area, but no, I'd rather just get the hell out of this spot. All right, fine. Let's get out of here. I mean, if I'm really ambitious, we could try to kill that fucking guy. I don't know, man. Oh, shit, he's chasing us now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I fucked up. Run. 
Run, 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 run. Run. Yep, we're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> he just once, that was enough for me. <laughs> uh. Nope, I didn't want to go this way. Uh, that's that's the way we're going to get trapped. I can't go that way. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Seraph, try not to. Oh my goodness. I keep getting caught by these little rocky protrusions. That's right. Run, bitch. They were totally okay with just chasing us until we were really going about to fight back. All right. Now we get to a question. Okay. I couldn't go through there. Uh, could I go through there? I don't remember. Uh, I don't think I could go through there. That area was blocked. That's a little annoying that it doesn't tell us, but I think that because that one little area is fuzzy, there was an area there that was blocked. I need to go left. And that gets me back to the camp. Yeah, let's, let's go back this way. So this is the way we came. So that keeps happening because I end up accidentally pressing the, uh, the uh, L3 button. I don't really intend to do it, but sometimes I accidentally depress it. It's not a big deal. It just gives me information. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Nope. Go. Run. 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 Hell yeah. Yay! Okay. Uh, wait. I already got all the iron. I don't need to go back to... Uh, Kaznan. But you know what? I should go back to Kaznan anyway just to see if there are any more quests. I did forget to do that last time I was at Kaznan, and since we're this close anyway, let's do it. Ooh, we can see cloud shadows. That's nice. That's a nice detail. Oh, I know why we wanted to come back here. Because now we have 16%. Wow, we're actually closing in on 20%. But once we hit 10%, I wanted to go up to uh, the Governor General and see what um, reward she gives us. Granted, a reward for 10% 10, uh, 10 map completion probably isn't all that much, but still, I'll take it. Plus, I want to see if there's anything new here. Mocha Fabros. Where did you pick this up? Cleared. Oh, clear. Okay, good. It, it shows us clear. Cool. All right, but they just, they'll continue to be here. <laughs> You're not telling me anything for free now. I guess you will later. So let's cruise up. Our wonderful Governor General here. General Government Building. Ah, greetings at all. To read what I said earlier, please give your reports on the map directly to me. You will receive a portion of the reward every, every of the reward every time you make significant progress on mapping out the forest. And at certain milestones, I'll present you with a bonus in addition to your usual payment. I hope this will serve as motivation to you. Although I don't wish to stress the Porto Chunjo rewards too much. Report map progress. Report, let's hear it then. You've made exceptional progress to have this filled much space in such a short amount of time. Here's the reward for your efforts thus far. There we go. All right. Well, I'll take a thousand gold. Bid you farewell for now, but I'll eagerly be waiting for your next report. Alright, that works. We like money. I don't think there's anything else to do in Kaznan right now. I think we... That was the big thing I wanted to do. And I wanted to see if any new stuff was here, but there isn't. So, back to the forest we go. So this part might get a little tedious as I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. But it's still fun. And the nice thing about these games is it really does feel like... You know, a cool milieu of, like, really exploring something new. Yep, Kaznan City. Come on. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Of course, I'm still getting used to the forest here. I mean, it certainly is living up to its name. I guess this is the, uh... The forest is going to end up being the mega dungeon itself, I assume. 
easy to get lost in here. Okay, so we went to the southwest here, and that was a dead end. So I think we need to go in the water and go north now. And then we'll try something, I guess we'll just try something new. Let's run. Let's see, what else did I not go? Oh, I didn't go up through there yet. We did go, oh, really? Is that, I guess that's my only choice then. We've gone everywhere else, I think, right? Yeah, I think we've gone everywhere else. Maybe I have maybe I have to go through that mine. I thought I went thought I explored the other things. Well we got the other memory. And there's that. Right? Um, right, there was a memory over here, we picked that up. There was a memory over here. We got no, there was was there a memory over here and we got it? No, I don't think so. I don't know how we're supposed to get to the Great Forest here. But we got the memory that was over here, and then we got bottlenecked because... Yeah, that area requires some sort of thing to clear those weird rocks. Then we have some more weird rocks over there. We can't get through that. Did we try going through this to explore more of it? Yeah, we did. We couldn't get any further this way. So yeah, we're kind of at our... We're running out of options here. Thank you for coming out of the water. That was nice of you. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try going up there for whatever it's worth. What sucks about that is it couldn't evade me and I still missed it. Oh, Find shit. an opening! Focus on offense! Oh, get out of the water! Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Come on. Oh. Duran, come on. Out this way. Oh, oh okay. I underestimated you. You were able to kill it out there. Come on, buddy. The combat is fun. It's fluid. I can't speak to the original if it's an improvement or not, because I never really played the original. Well, all right. Well, we got this. So now we can warp. Lovely. This looks like a bunch of bullshit, however. I remember those from Oath of Fulgana. Now we'll take another bone. Oh, wait. That's weird. It's showing like that I've been here before. I don't think I've been here before, though, have I? That's very strange. Well, let's get that treasure chest that's up there. Yeah, this one was very strange in that it looked like uh, we were already here. I, I definitely don't remember coming here before. But we definitely want that. Come to fun. Right, I don't know what the green stone does, but I'm glad I've got ten of them. Oh, that was probably for... Um, Armor and uh, sword improvements. Which I haven't really messed around a whole lot with yet. What the fuck is that? I'm guessing that is something really awesome. And it's gone. Yep, whatever it is, it's gone. 
That was a glowing fucking Pickard. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely not dead. I couldn't do any damage to it. That was like a, that was some sort of weird glowing Pickard. That thing was awesome. I'm guessing it's a super rare enemy that gives you a shit ton of XP or something. Strange. Okay, so I could go down, which is probably where I want to go. Well, there's going to be a memory down in that area. We're going to want that. Yeah, let's just continue on course this way. Let's get that memory. Whatever it is. Hey, asshole, come here. Come on. Come on, get away from that flower. Come on. There we go. I really didn't have to fight both of you at the same time. Oh, I didn't see it over there. That's alright, we fucked up. Still got some good stuff here. Why does this let me go all the way over here? Man, this map is, uh... <laughs> this map is, uh... Leaves a lot to be desired. For sure. I don't know if it's the map being glitchy or what. I was trying to figure out which direction the memory was in. I think the memory is going to be down here somewhere. Yep. Okay. Kill these guys first. Oh, missed us. Ah, shit. Luckily, we've got a cure for that. Yahoo! Wait, somebody else? Poison? We need the memory, and that's down there. So let's not go too far. Yeah, yeah. I love that when we're close to it, the whole screen kind of has this weird effect. Let's touch this memory and figure it out. Hmm. How long has it been since I arrived here? Oh, this looks like something recent in Salsetta. Looking inside the forest, there was a familiar statue at the side of the path. Adol realized he had been this way already. How can I escape from this overgrown forest? Not much of a memory there. But we'll take the defense increase. Oh, that's bullshit. We'd already killed you guys, but whatever, fine. That's a silver piece. Take that. Oh, gold piece, whatever. Have I learned any new skills yet? Ooh, we do. Sonic Slide. Let's see what that does. That's Sonic Slide. That's pretty cool. Okay, that I like, because that gives me some nice mobility. I can charge things with it. Sweet. That one. Though. Oh, we got a honey potion. Sweet. Alright, we got two possibilities here. And man, why is it so zoomed in? There's gotta be a way to zoom out. There's, there's gotta be a way to zoom out on this thing. <laughs> there just has to be. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Um, 
I don't I can't seem to find a a zoom a good zoom function. That just raises the lower lowers the yeah, I don't, I don't know man. I don't know. It keeps me up at night. Uh alright, so this being the case. Let's check the map. Oh boy. Man, it so our target was to go here, and yet it seems like every option is just to go dramatically further than the tree. Unless I missed something. But I don't think I missed something. This is an upper ledge, you couldn't get around it. Maybe we just go around and come up from below? Let's try that. Let's see. Since we got a memory and all. I'm liking that new Sonic Dash. It really does help get me through some enemies somehow. They do have moves. Sometimes I like just smacking them up in the air. Other times I like just getting through them. Alright, let's see. Let's go down. Oh, Jesus. That looks enormous. Well, we'll take the steel gauntlet for, uh, sure in there. Hell yeah. Hey, we got a steel gauntlet plus two for you. Sorry, right. it doesn't do actual damage to me. Paralysis will wear off. I think the paralysis will wear off. Wow, I can still do damage. It's interesting. Or I can still attack, even though I'm paralyzed. Oh, it's shocked. It's more of a shock than actual paralysis. Mm, doesn't wear off. A little worried about the uh, paralysis effect, though. It's not doing damage to me, it just kind of stuns me occasionally. Nice if it would just wear off. There it goes. Man, it took its sweet time. I'm so tired of getting poisoned. Uh. Wow, it doesn't actually show that I'm poisoned. I just know I'm poisoned. Man, these things don't fuck around, man. Oh. Got another skill. <laughs> there we go. All right. So good. I could just now transfer back between these. Thankfully. All right. So, all right. So, Forest of Dawn Wetlands, Forest of Dawn East, Forest of Dawn Stream, huh? All right. Well, hopefully, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself here. Now he's. And we'll save. And we'll save. There's nothing else that way. Well, let's head down. Oh, Jesus. I'm 
certainly worth a lot. Still managed to fucking poison me. Damn it. Well, let's get this treasure chest. Because we're gonna go right back and we're gonna go to that monument, and the monument's going to heal us and kill the poison. Next time we're not gonna get fucking poisoned. <laughs> you know, famous last words here. Okay, so we can go that way. Alright, I'll have to check the map again. So that would lead... That might lead us to the tree. But I think we're too... Uh, I think we're gonna be too north of it. But let's try it anyway. Already dealt with you assholes. Forest Labyrinth. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, these geniuses. What? Isn't that peculiar statue the one we just... I knew it. We're back here again. <laughs> Curses, why? Why do we keep ending up back in the same place? How long have we been wandering in circles here? Hmm. My sense of time is long gone, so no idea. But however long it's been, it's long enough to make me really hungry. Yeah, I don't think my stomach could last much longer either. I'm losing the will to go on. <laughs> At least if we were moving forward, we'd feel like we were getting somewhere, but just walking around in circles. Uh, fine. Stop your complaining, you wimps. You're hungry, you're losing the will to go on. These things are all on the mind. You shouldn't be so negative, that's your problem. Why can't you be like me and view things in a more positive spin? We might be lost now, but there's a perfect chance to strengthen our leg muscles. Oh my God, really? Commander Toxic Positivity Leo here. You should be grateful for this opportunity. We should thank the forest for allowing us to get lost within her no leafy bosom. Fair. You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? But you were cursing at the statue just now, weren't you? Bulls! <laughs> Real genius always strives for the truth. I mean, it's thoughts are a swirling miasma. I was merely thinking out loud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Sancho, what do you think about all this? Well, optimism isn't a bad thing, but no, don't let him trick you. These uh, three are really something. I'm amazed they managed to get this far into the forest already. Let's keep moving. All right, so that's an interesting point, is now we can get lost. Oh, we have no map now. That's not interesting. This damn statue again. Curses, why do we keep ending up back here? So we're probably going to need an item of some sort. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so no matter which way we go... That's hilarious. Oh, no statue this time. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna go in circles here. Interesting. Alright, so this is obviously a puzzle. This is going to be a good puzzle, but interesting. So we went north. Oh, and there's the statue again. Here they are. Sometimes they're there at the statue and sometimes they're not. Interesting. I just want to see something if we just go north each time. I think the game just warps you back here every time. Here's an interesting question. If I try to leave by the same way, can we actually leave? Is this is the way we just came? Assuming it's the same screen. Okay, it does actually let us leave. So, all right. Let's get the hell over on this side. Oh, I can't get out that way, shit. with you guys right now. I don't feel like getting poisoned. At this point, I just want to explore a little bit. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, so this is the way down. What's this? Misty Peak? Oh yeah, somebody did mention something about the Misty Peak. 
Hmm. So now we're much further away from... Ah, okay. First labyrinth. All right. So we've got a waterfall cave that we could go to. We've got a forest labyrinth we're probably just not ready for. I think we are going to need to go to waterfall cave. Uh, we do have the great forest. Oh, we're also at 22%. So we could actually go... Yeah, no Lost Woods for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no Lost Woods for us right now. Jeez. Um, all right, so we got the Misty Peak. I'm actually inclined to go back and get that, and then I guess we'll have to go into that cave and see what's in the Waterfall Cave. So I feel like we've done everything else, and now we're getting into more of the weeds over here. But just for the shits of it, let's... I managed to follow the trail of some explorers up to this point, but now I'm completely lost. I have to make sure to keep trail uh, tailing them, since they're my only hope of getting out of here. Hi, cat. I love you, cat. What's up, Cleo? Ah, same thing. We have no map here either. So I'm guessing this is also going to warp us. Yep, it's just going to warp us back. All right. So that's fine. Alright, let's just get out of here. We can't go any further in there at the moment. But good to know. Right, it's the Forest of Dawn. Cross this bridge. Can't do anything here. This is just some sort of trap thing. I really don't feel like fighting any of these idiots at the moment. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here now. These are a waste of my time. Since we were that close to getting a level anyway, it made sense just to do it. Hey, uh, Dran, uh, can you help me attack these guys? That's fine. Cool. It's not like I needed your help with that or anything. <laughs> yeah, we, we explored as much as we could. I can't get over there. So I guess we're going to be able to get there later. And that was the way right. Right, going over that way leads us to the Forest Labyrinth, and going this way leads us to the Misty Peak, and we can't get past either one. Hey, right. That works. Okay. Forest of Dawn. Head back to Kaznan. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. Let's cash in. More map completion. See what reward we get. It's probably not going to be much yet. Usually the map rewards don't get really good until you get like, you know, 70, 80, 90%. See the one defeated monster. I believe I noticed you before the others began to speak your deeds. Are you going in the great forest again? You're either reckless or just stupid. <laughs> your ill-advised madness is strangely admirable. Why, thank you, Rachel. I think. I think I'm going to I'm going to take that as a compliment. I choose to be complimented. <laughs> but I think I should be insulted. Report map progress. Ah, you going to report your progress? Let's hear it. Yeah, let's get another reward here. You made exceptional progress. Blah 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 blah. Alright, so we just we're just she's just giving us money at this point. At some point she's probably gonna start giving us money and or items. I'm actually looking more forward to the items. Um, I think we still have bought as good a gear as we can get. So, although, geez, we're getting, we're starting to get close to, like, some serious, serious money amounts here. All right, back to the cave, and I guess we're going to do a boss. Yep. Go up there. It's interesting with the upgrade of the network of monuments as opposed to 
Oath of Felgana, where once you discover a monument, you can just go to any of them. Back to the wetlands. money behind. Ah, shit. Good. Didn't poison I really thought I was getting poisoned again. Did I not go this way? Shit. I didn't go this way. Let's find out what's here. There's a tra treasure chest in there. I don't think I can get it, though. So we figure out what the story is with that. Oh, that fucker. Hey, buddy. No, I don't think I can get that treasure chest. Fuck. Yeah, damn. Is there any kind of way to go down or swim or dive? It's right there. No, I guess I'm going to have to lower the water level or something. Or get some item that lets me do it. Taking way too many hits, though. Alright, well, another way out. Go take a look. Alright, well, we reached the Forest of Dawn West. Where the hell am I now? Oh, there's a memory up here. Alright, well, we may as well get the stupid memory. I think we're probably gonna hit a dead end, then we'll have to come back and get that cave now. That's alright. Let's go get this memory. a little mini gauntlet here. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. can't get to the fucking memory. It's up there. Shit. Okay. Well, maybe we can get around this way. Probably not, though. It's probably making us go all the way around. Ow. Mm. Yeah, I really didn't want to do that, but all right. Bitter potion it is. Right when I was fucking at Kaznan, I should have bought normal honey potions. I knew there was a reason I wanted to go to Kaznan. I forgot when I was there. So it's something up there that we'll want in a minute. Okay, so if we go down, we could probably explore that. Fine, let's just do that really quick. Loot 
loop around. Fuck. It didn't poison us. What the fuck? red stones. Alright. But the question is, why did I just come all this way for that? This is probably going to lead to another area, isn't it? Nope. Fuck. 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 Nope. Jesus. The thing is just so massive. Oh, there's two of them. That's cute. Yep, there's another area. Didn't even want to be here. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. My turn. <sighs> sucks. Well, it's only a matter of time before we need that. Yeah. Leave it to me. That sucked. Yeah, those things are really strong, man. <laughs> those things are just really strong. Which makes me think I'm probably in the wrong area. But, oh damn it. That's why they gave us those items. Well, there's a treasure chest up there, and here's the memory that we were trying to get to. Oh, there it is. Let's touch it. See what's going on here now. Okay. Oh, Adol, do you have some business outside the village? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go pick some medicinal herbs. Really? Don't be too long. Looks like it's gonna start raining any time now. No problem. Oh. Of course, an ad's playing during a memory. So, if I can't find one in the village, I'm sure I'll find one on the other side of the mountain. <laughs> I, I absolutely love, love that sound effect. So yeah, Adol's just getting some medicinal herbs here from outside the village, even as a, as a young kid. Huh? There are just more mountains. Ah, there we go. It's so cold. Is this rain? <laughs> oh, what's this? A wild cryberry, cryberry bee approaches. Dad? Adol, I've been worried sick about you. What are you doing out here? I was looking for the ocean. I thought there might be one on the other side of the mountain. Oh my god, even as a young kid, he climbed a mountain over <laughs> a mountain just to see more mountains. <laughs> oh dear. Honestly, you do take after me a little too much. Ah, uh, so that apple didn't fall far from the tree. All right, well, we'll take its HP increase. Ah, good. I could use another bitter potion. I've been using too many of them lately. Now let's find out what's in this fucking- Oh god, really? Come here, guys. Over here. Yep. There we go. We'll just get whatever this is. Uh, you know what, though? This blue ornament is probably what is going to allow us to get where we want to go. Fighting those. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. I know better than to fight whatever those fucking things were. <laughs> they looked scary as shit. Alright, now we get the hell out of here. I'll bet you that uh, ornament has something to do with how we need to get the hell out of here, though. Alright, so... Oh, right, we could actually technically leave that area. But no, let's go back this way. Oops. Do -do -do. That. Yeah. And we got more. 
direction. Yeah, it's convenient that it got out the hell out of our way. That was nice of it. Sure, we'll take a broded droplet. I don't know if it does, but we'll take it. Probably gonna be an SP recovery item. Most likely. That's going to be my guess. Oh, this fucking scary ass thing is over here. Okay, we can actually fight it. Ball breaker time. We'll take that. Skills. Oh, nice. Okay, and now Blade Rush. Cool, now we got one applied to everything. Sweet. Okay, now we got tons of skills. But I think it's time to go to that waterfall. If we could find it. Jeez, we're so lost. <laughs> It's not bad of you. So you. How did we? All right. So I have to go down and to the right to get to the to get to that ish. And of course, it's night now. Can't get to that. Is that the monument I want? along here. Man, they give you so much more when you uh, finish them off with a skill. We'll take strange mass and coal, why not? The next time I'm in Kaznan, I gotta buy some normal healing potions for sure. And give the, this... And give uh, this nut I just found to the cat. Now that I have something that's not rotten. Uh, yes. There we go. That. One more to go. Oh, I dodged it. He still hit me. Man, we must have so. Oh, there's this thing again. But where does it go? I don't. I don't. Know. Yeah, I can't. I can't get it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And it shows up here. Whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know what that glowing thing is, but it's awesome. I'll have to eventually figure out how to get it. Convenient that there's a monument right here. Now we save. Because I certainly don't want to do any all that shit again. Right, so is that cave? Yep, that cave's up there. And we have to go around to there for it. Okay. I like that one. That thing's cool. Holy shit, I love Blade Rush. Okay. <laughs> it's expensive, but oh boy, that one's fun. Alright, I'm liking these special moves. These. It'd be nice to get a monument in the fucking um, mine. Okay, this game's coming together. I mean, I still don't entirely know what I'm doing yet, but. A little 
zigzag thing. Yeah, it would have been nice if we could have, uh... Would have been nice if there was, like, a monument in here or something. Oh, well. Maybe there is, and I just didn't see it. Well, no, there's only one way to go. Oh, fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO, bitches! Dirty lumber. I'm almost curious to see how much of this shit we've got now. I bet you we've got a lot. Items. Artifact. Oh. Consumables. Oh, yeah. Recovers 10% HP, revives fallen ally. Okay, so yeah. The rotor droplet's pretty awesome. Gauntlets. Got a couple of those. Got. We have three iron breastplates. Why I have three iron breastplates? I'm not really sure. Oh, we've picked up a new accessory. Aerial combos, charge the SP gauge. Oh, okay, nice. And then I've got a shield ring. All right, so I should just apply that. That's really not all that great. Really? Aerial combos, charge the SP gauge? That's that's all it does? Kind of lame. Yeah, we got 58 iron ore now, 49 coal. <laughs> oh my god, I've got 104 rotting leaf, 62 vilted flowers. Oh my god. Yeah, I knew I had a lot. I didn't know it was going to be that much. Jeez, man. We got key items. We got a map of Sasetta. We got our journal. We got our silver wing. We got a mine key. And I'm sure at some point we're going to find something that actually lets us through. Um, oh, fine. Let's apply the blue ornament here. Uh, yeah, it's totally a fucking boss fight. That's so a boss fight. Motherfucker. I didn't save it there, right? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. It's like such an obvious boss fight area. Um, there's our boss fight. Boss fight? No boss fight? You gotta be kidding me. No boss fight? Where, where is our boss fight? Uh, okay. Maybe I need an item when I bring it here? Shit. What am I missing? How's our map doing? Well, we're almost approaching 30%, but... What the fuck else am I doing here, then? Well, shit. Here, I was thinking there was a boss fight up there. There isn't a boss fight, though. So, what am I doing? I guess I have to go... <sighs> Shit, I guess we're going back to that other monument. Yeah, I guess we're going back to the other monument. And, uh, we just have to run past those things and hope something important's past it. Shit, I wonder what else could... Ow. That's good. Oh shit, what else am I missing here? Although we've we've done a pretty good job of exploring a lot of uh, the forest of Salsetta. It's a nice start, but yeah, you can definitely see how you could get lost in this fucking place. Hmm. And that's the way we just went. We did explore every area past the wetlands. So I don't think there's anything else I could do. Oops. Right in there. At this point, just fighting those things is just slowing me down. Trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do now. Huh. Fine, save. 
this is no boss fight. Uh, yeah, I think... Shit, I don't remember which one was which now. Looks like one of these we only got so far. Jeez, man, look at this fucking shit. But I don't think... So we get to the Misty Peak. Alright, so I'm thinking the Forest Labyrinth is what we have to get to. To get to that tree. And we have to get through the Misty Peak to get to this. So what the hell puzzle still awaits us with these? There's gotta be some... I mean, there's obviously a trick to it. We've picked up as many memories as we could up until this point. We can't get through those because they're blocked by some sort of harder shrub. Um, goodness gracious. All right. Let's see if we can figure it out. It's also possible it has something to do with the time of day. I mean, why introduce a time of day unless it had some sort of solution to the, to the puzzle, right? That probably had something to do with it. But at the moment, I haven't seen anything to give you a clue as to what that might be. You know, assuming they don't just... That isn't just something they do. Just for the sake of, you know, really hammering home the point uh, that time... You lose track of time in the forest. I'm assuming that the time of day is relevant somehow. It's gotta be relevant somehow. Looks like we went everywhere above, though. So I think we just need to try going left. I think we need to try going this way. I think we went everywhere else north. Right? Oh yeah, look at this. Well, there's an area above there. Oh, but well, there's probably something we can't actually get to. Poison buddy? Uh, I thought I dodged it. Instead I jumped right headfirst into it. Okay, well I haven't been here. Let's find out here. Something new! Excellent! Anything new is welcome at this stage. Hey Sarah, if I got an idea. How about you completely boost fast the thing? Snake amulet, huh? What the fuck does this snake amulet do? Prevents poison. Yes, please. <laughs> God damn, yes, please. Okay. We will definitely take that fucking snake amulet for sure. Alright, well, so there's that. But I still can't get through the labyrinth or that other thing. So it begs the question, where the fuck am I going? Like, seriously, where am I going? Now I don't have to be afraid of those things. I'm still taking way too much damage. I almost wonder if I should just bugger the hell out. Damn. Damn. I've gone up this way before, right? Oh, no, I have not. Let's see. Any potion? Well, might need that pretty soon. I know what the story is with 
treasure chest. No, it's just a normal treasure chest. These. Antidote powder. Cool. Okay. We're fine. Yeah, it'd be nice if it tell, told you here that they're poisoned. I mean, I know he's poisoned, but still. There, marvelous. Proceed. All right. Now what? Thunder Beast Charm? Or whatever that thing's worth. Prevents paralysis. Oh, okay. All right, buddy. Guess what? You can now prevent paralysis. And you can... SP during the video conference. But now I'm kind of at a loss. So I feel like now we really have done everything. Well, I thought I'd explored this area too, so let's just keep going. So that was a nice ruin. And I came in from that way. We went up. Alright, so now let's go. Let's go back this way. I do like those charge attacks. There's something up there. I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Oh, nope, it's still alive. Nice job, Durin. Why do you finish off the thing? <laughs> Alright, what have I done here? Uh, that's here. Well, we've at least got another monument. So once we do that, we could warp. Once we warp, then we can... As, as I'm looking... What I might do is, at this point, I've wandered around this frickin' forest now for a while. What I might do is, uh... Let's see, now let's fight this thing. Kill these things. Okay. Here. I might just do a little bit of exploring around this area and then head back to Kaznan. Save, buy a couple of honey potions. That way I don't completely uh, strung up for potions. Oh, jeez. Hell yeah, clay brush. There we go. Kill that fucking thing. Perfect. We could certainly handle the enemies in this area. We're actually about to level up again. Uh, but yeah, I don't... What I'm probably going to do is head back to Kaznan after this. And just, um... And just save. That might just be the way to do it. Because you do get to a point where... It's like... Save. Just in case I discover something real quick. But I don't want to give up just yet. Let's see. Did we try going up that area? I think we did. We can't get across the river. And that's the Misty Peak. Yeah. No, this is this is it. <laughs> this is uh this is it. And this way leads to that. Right? Yeah. Both of these areas lead to areas... Yeah, both of these lead to either the Forest Labyrinth or the Misty Peak. And we're stuck at both. I don't really know how to get past either. Alright, so you know what? Let's go back to Kaznan. And maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll talk to a bunch of NPCs. Because usually when you get stuck... Once you get to a point where you can't go any further... I mean, it's either that or I'm not quite getting the puzzle. Which is just fine. Commander Leo hasn't figured out the puzzle either. Um, but let's go to Kazan City. Maybe somebody there has a clue. Over the river, through the woods. Where the fuck do we go? <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I was hoping that through our explanation there, we would find some sort of item 
that would allow us to interact with that statue. That statue's got to be the key, right? But whatever. At this point, let's check the map. We have 30 now. We don't have 30. That sucks. All right, let's go to... No, we don't want the inn. I want to go down. Let's buy a couple of potions, and then we'll set up and uh, and do a raid. Yeah, I'm... Uh... I'm a, at this point, now I'm feeling a little stuck. <laughs> and I'm not sure what to do yet. And this just might be a good place to kind of call it. Where are the, Where's my item shop? I thought this was the item shop. Am I wrong? We exchange metals there. This is the weapon shop. This is definitely the weapon shop. So outside, maybe the item shop's over here. So that's the inn. Yep, all right, here's the item shop. Let's buy, all right, yes, let's buy a couple of honey potions. Um, we certainly have enough bunny, but yeah, let's, let's buy five honey potions. That will make my life a little easier. Here's paralysis, rota droplet. All right, so we've got enough of these. We've picked up enough of those. I really don't have anything else, huh? All right, yeah, I, th I think, but so far so good, man. Um, so far, so good. I think this was a good start for Memories of Silsetta. We've gotten in pretty good. Uh, title screen, yes. We did just... We did just save it, right? Yes, we're in Kazna. Okay. So, title screen. Yep. Let's exit. And we will exit. And I think that was a very good start, even though I'm a little... At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm to the point now where I'm not quite sure how to solve the labyrinth or that misty peak puzzle. I don't know if there's a specific way you have to go. I don't know if there's a specific way you have to interact with that statue. Um, it might be a time of day thing, but I don't know. I might, I might end up thinking about it. What I'll probably do is play it again Sunday night next week. And in between now and then my, I'll let my brain work on things we could try and, uh, and sort it out. At this point, I feel like we've gained enough levels of wandering around lost where I don't have to go in there and, uh, farm for levels. So yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Let's see who's on. Let's, uh, let's also do a quick channel update. Uh, tomorrow I have off, so I am probably going to just fuck around at home all day and play a shit ton of Fallout 4, uh, with, um, uh, with that. So I am looking forward to doing a bunch of that. And then the rest of this week, I'm probably going to do schoolwork. So that's my plan for this week. Let's see who's on. Who is on? Who is on? Uh, let's also. Let's see. Who is on? Oh, Cobra is on. Oh, Cobra must have just gone gone live. So you know what? Let's let's raid Cobra. We haven't raided her in a little while. Uh, let's do that. And uh, let's head over. Let's just do it through here. Hello, cat. I know I love you too, kitty kitty. <laughs> She's such a good cat. But yeah, that'll be the plan. We'll raid out to Cobra. We'll hang out there for a little bit. And then um, what we'll do is, uh, for anybody who wants, if you uh, if you also have tomorrow off, feel free to join me. We'll be we'll be playing some Fallout 4. Um, and that, like I said, that's my, my current plan for the rest of the week. And then we will play some other RPG goodness on next Saturday. Hell, we might even play Memories of Salsetta Saturday uh, this coming weekend depending on how things go, too. I'm um, not really sure. Uh, I guess we'll just wait and see how the week... how, uh, how the week treats us. Um, but in any event... There we go. Finally got it started. So I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. Enjoy your Memorial Day tomorrow, or for anybody who doesn't celebrate the day off tomorrow, uh, I hope you have a great day. Make it... make it a holiday <laughs> anyway, if only for yourself, right? So, hello, cat. I know, I know. You probably want a treat. So, uh, but in any event, I will see you guys all on the next one. And until next time, cha-